Yo, yo, yo. And how is everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the MSC. Welcome back to my little crazy little world, which is slowly going insane and crazy and random. Let me drop down some of that background sound. We don't need it that loud, do we? Yeah, we don't need it that loud. But hey, I'm still, I'm still working out all of the, the kinks should we say. So I've still yet to really work out how how the levels are really working, really. So, <laughs> I'm going to quickly pop up and double check that all these things are going the way they should be. I just got to make sure that it's at a good level. But sitting down there, <laughs> sitting down there currently at minus 13 compared to my voice, which is currently at zero. But yeah, we, we, want it, we want it as background. We want it as background, but we don't want it completely gone. But it kind of depends on what we're doing today. But yeah, so we are returning back to the world of Broken Sword today. Uh, just to have something a... I would say a little bit different. But it's more like a, just a return. You know, just a return to how things are working and how things are going to be going. And yeah, so I'd like to try to make sure that we are consistent. And I'm just chatting a bit of waffle right now just to make sure that it's sounding good. Because I do have it over there in the background. So I can still hear everything. And let me just turn down a bit. Got it really quiet, actually. Oh, yeah. No, that's definitely definitely too loud. Definitely too loud. But yeah, let, let, let's let's bring these all down a bit because we don't we don't need it that loud. We do not need it that loud. So let's bring it all down and let's see where we're going. So we're gonna um, end up jumping back into. Um, what was I saying? Oh shit, my my voice is really loud as well, isn't it? Yeah. Really got to try and balance these things out. Like just being at zero is just far too far, far too up there. But hopefully that is balanced a bit better. We shall see. We shall see how this works out. But yeah, so we are going to be going back into the world of Broken Sword today. And yeah, uh, to carry on where we left off from the last time we were here. And yeah, we would find out where we're at. Because we definitely don't want it that loud. I can definitely overhear that on everything that's in here. So let's have a quick look. Everything is a bit on the loud side. Maybe I actually need to pull down that desktop audio a bit. Because we don't need it that loud. We don't. Okay, that should have dropped something down. But apparently it did not. Apparently it did not. So let me bring this down as well. So I'm trying to work out how, how all of this stuff is working. There's so many things to keep an eye on. Hey there, Squish. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, welcome to the crew. That the background music is definitely far too loud. Let me just draw that down. A chunk. Okay, yeah. So that's definitely affecting it. So we're, doing, we're, we're going to sit there at 15. Let's see where that sits. Let's see where that sits. If I can actually hear it at all. Ooh, I can't. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's just get back into the game and see where we're going. Anyways, how's it going, little squishy one? I hope you are doing fine. You're home, safe and sound from this beautiful, beautiful day that today has been, actually. It's been a beautiful day. Lots of rain, but quite a bit of sunshine as well. Just to make sure that, you know, it's a beautiful day. So there's so many rainbows all over the place from what I've been told. Little diamonds dribbling down from the sky. And yeah, everyone likes, everyone likes to see little rainbows and diamonds dropping from the sky. So it's nice to actually see it out in the real world. So anyways, we're going to continue where we left off. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully this works out. Do let us know if the sound is off, if it's a bit too loud, if my voice is off, if the game volume is loud. Um, the music is also, I think, a bit too loud, in my opinion. But it's hard to tell like, when there's so many bloody wibbles and nobbles and things that I've got to play with. It's actually quite tricky. And hearing the feedback in my own head isn't always the best. Because right now, it just sounds like my voice is really dominant. So. Yeah, let me know. Let me know how the sound works out. Why we continue into the game. Hang on. I'm pretty sure this is not where we left off last time. But, uh, yeah, we'll get there. Uh, music is loud, low, the knobs be up. Alright, so which, which, are we talking about the actual music? Uh, let me see where, I need to put this up full, full volume again and not throw potatoes and tomatoes at myself. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully... Yeah, that, that should be fun. Right, yeah, music, music's definitely a bit on the loud side. 
So let me alt tab out. I'm gonna go to down to 19 on there. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's working out okay. My mic is still a bit on the hot sound. My mic is still feeling like it's hot. Yeah, but I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that sounds okay. Your music, not the game. Right, so let's get back into here. So, we're gonna have to go through all of this again. So what level were we at? I could have sworn I saved this afterwards. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit confused, but yeah. Oh, let's who is this? Over and see where Mr. Todrick? Oh, it's you again. What now? Uh, right, what was I doing? I know it's you again. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. But I didn't have anything to say, so I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, do you need it on? There is an in game music too. True. True. I could just completely turn off the music. You know, completely. There it goes. It's gone. I've turned it down. It's all good. Right, so I'm pretty sure. Right, restore game there. Confirm. Ha! Ah, there we go. We can skip that last bit. So now we are in with Nico. And yeah, let's find out what it's means to do. Right. Oh my god, we've got things over here. I didn't even see these. I don't remember these things in the last ones. Hey there, Rosh Face. How's it going? Beautiful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It was a photograph of my father. The first one I ever took. With the first camera he ever bought me. With your paws in the way. Clearly. Clearly. Let's see where this goes. Oh, I've got some tunage. Let's see what Nico's listening to. No, I'm not giving up. God knows if this is copyright. <laughs> we shall find out. But we can have a little boogie to this. It sounds like something like the cause. You know, I saw a mansion here. I'm not giving up. No, no I'm giving I'm up. I don't know where we are going, but I pray to God that we are going to get there. Okay. Stay with me, don't leave me where you go. Am I just skipping tracks now on her stereo? Can I turn it off? I've got some other bird's tunage, and I've got no idea if it's copyright or not. This should be an interesting one. Nope, another track. Go on, stop, stop the music. Stop the music. Kill the Wi-Fi. You have no messages. Okay, this music taste is terrible. Okay, turn it off, turn it off. Ah! Hurting my ears. There's too many tracks here. I really do not know where we are going, but I pray to God that we are gonna get there. Stay with me, don't leave me be, where you go. Look, this is what the game's gonna be today. Just I was going through radio stations on um, on this game to see 1996 French radio. That being said, why is there nothing in French? There's actually a rule in France where I think it's like six percent of their media has to be in the French language. I can't believe I went. Okay, we're gonna leave that one. <laughs> Every time you come around, boy, I, I, I don't want it. I'm finding it very, very distracting. And I can't tell it's not very good music. Damn it. Right, audio. Music, down, back. See if that fixes it. <laughs> but now we've lost all the music, so. Let's throw some of mine in the background. See if that does a thing. Anyways, what's, what's she doing? She's just writing a little little note. We're not doing much else right now. Got to see where this goes. But how are you guys doing? Now, hopefully you're having a fabulous, wonderful day. Uh, I've enjoyed the sunshine and the rain. There wasn't anyone that I needed to call. Nope, there was nobody. Nobody needed to call. Hey, Ninja. How's it going, buddy? Long time no see. You dropping off those drinks and the check and the posture checks. It's nice that you guys are actually caring. Ah, thank you so much for that. And let's quickly do a quick stretch. Uh, Got to make sure you get... Uh, 
check that posture, make sure it's good. If you're going to be sitting here for a couple of hours, you need to make sure that you've got good posture. Because nobody likes bad posture. No, never, never. Anyway, Ninja, how you been? Uh, I've been? I've been okay. I was ill today. Well, I was ill yesterday. I actually ended up part of the way through my meal. Ended up throwing up, which was not fun. Um, but then, yeah, I've just taken it really easy last night. Took it really easy today. Um, and, yeah, um, we're back on the streams. I did say that I would be here. I was definitely going to not avoid it. But well, let's bring the music back up. And hopefully we won't get the dodgy music back. Okay, that's not going. Go Anyways, let's go out. Let's let's leave the place. Leave the place alone, so it's all good. Uh, but I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing fine. I saw your breakfast the other day. It was, looks lovely. And yeah, we're going to continue on with the game. Uh, where we left up, we we met George. We've done a little bit of an adventure with Nico. And yeah, that was about it, really. So you haven't missed too much of it. I don't know if you've played this game before or not. Mamzer Collard. Oh, hello there. Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. Yay! No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget her so soon? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She Ooh, let herself in, on. of course. She's got a key. Suddenly, Sometimes everything see. made sense. Broken sword, you my in? apartment had been bugged. That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the, the only cousin I have is a sweet little guy called John Mark. Why is my camera thinking that my lamp in the is a face? These people were determined, which meant they were also very dangerous. Have you been, Shen? You been good? Staying out of trouble? I hope. I hope. Or at least enjoying yourself no matter what you've been up to. Ah, but welcome, yes. We are in the second part. So we didn't get that far last time. We got stuck on a couple of puzzles. Word puzzles are not my thing. I can't do word puzzles. But um, yeah, hopefully it all works out and we do good. Right, so what we were chatting to this crazy little knitting lady from the flower store. And yeah, we got to see where it's going. Good, thank you. And yourself? Nah, not staying out of trouble. Nah, it's, it's more fun being in trouble. It, it always knows where I am. I can't even escape her. She just, I think she put like a GPS tracker with me at some stage in my life and just stay there. So it's all good. I suppose she'd forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Collard, you're a mind reader. That's just what she said. Mm. Oh, no I surprise. bet it was. Well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. It is all good. Uh, yes, this is the um, director's car. I, I'm not in I'm sent sure, actually. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, it is. It is the director's cut. Um, but yeah, so hence the confusion when I first played this game. Because obviously I, I played the original back in the day. And there's a whole section with Nico at the beginning that was completely new. So I didn't know it. Um, granted, I don't know every element of this game. I like Nico's added black backstory to this. Yeah, no, it, it was it's nice. But I didn't know it, which is quite, quite nice to actually play an old game. That I don't remember everything. I remember bits and pieces of it. But um, to have this whole new section... It kind of threw me for a loop. So hence why I spent the entire stream just doing the in that first intro. And then when I got to George Stobart, we just murked through that really quick time. Right, so where are we at? Uh, my friend of skins. Here's Hattie, Hattie, Hattie. Yeah, no, hopefully we'll find out more. Right, so we've sorted that with her. Oh my God, it was best, but the Nico parts are cool. Unfortunately, they got rid of... Hang on. Did I miss something? No spoilers. <laughs> Plus, I don't remember that, that particular thing. Right, where are we at? We are, that's Raju, that is the Café de la Champagne, and that is the Charcoal Residence. Is that Nico's? No, Cola. Cola. Nico Cola. Yeah, possibly. Right, let's go, let's go to this gaff. Let's see what's going on. Not a spoiler. All kinds of trouble. You are a troublemaker. Oh, that's where we came from. Okay, so we are down there. So, Rue Jawa is Nico's apartment. So, let's go up to... Uh, Conchon residence? No. The Café de la Champion. Ah, let's go there. It's great. We're going to see what happens here. Go on a little adventure. See what Nico... Is the door was locked. Oh, no. They knock at the door. The door was locked. No, it's still locked. Still locked. Right, 
Did we, did we agree that we were going to meet up with Nico again? Or at least with George. George Stobart. Only way to be. So what have you been up to anyways? What kind of trouble have you been into? Hello, could I ask you some questions? Want more details. More details than the best kind. That depends. Are you a cop? No, I'm a journalist. It's worse. It's late, aren't you? They already took away the body. Oh, no. I'm doing a follow-up on this story. Uh, what else have I been streaming? Of late, I've been doing a lot of Valheim, uh, because I've had a slight addiction to that game, so I'm doing my best to get away from it. Um, and what else was I playing? A bit of Dying Light. I've been doing um, a little bit of that. Um, and yeah, that's mostly about it, actually. I actually took last week off because I was burning out a bit and a lot of other things I need to, you know, put my concentration on. So I was sorting that out. To be honest, not much. Work, days out, nights out, the usual. Good. The usual. I like the usual. It's nice, nice that we're returning to a usual. That's what I appreciate, is the world is starting to slowly open up again. Uh, right, so we've got the big moustache. The, l uh, the less moustache and the no moustache. Ah, you need a break sometimes? Yep, no, you definitely do. You definitely do. And sometimes you got to take it out. you got to take it out. I've also done a return back to nighttime streaming. So um, I'm not doing the, the daytime streaming anymore. So I'll be on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 o'clock. So if you're around, I'd, I'd love it if you could push in. Yeah, I appreciate the simple things. Much more now. Good. I just miss the furlough pay and the sitting at home. But it's been a while since we had that, but hey. Right, let's go. Let's make our way up in the moustaches. So let's start with the no moustache. Then we go to the medium moustache. And then we go to the big moustache. Sound like a plan? Sound like a good thing to do. You're doing a fine job. Damn right I am. You should be writing about me, not that idiot that got blown up. The heroes will pick up the pieces when disaster strikes. Exactly. Well, give me your best man and maybe I'll put your picture in the article. Oh. Right. Uh, just give me a minute to do my hair. <laughs> Did I even bring my camera? Right, let's start off while he's doing that. We don't, the we don't police take up his have time. removed the body, but nothing else looked disturbed. All right. So let's do a little bit of investigation. I'm trying to remember this bit. I know we arranged to meet up with, um... Ooh, hello. A panel had been blown away, revealing a gap. From this angle, I could see that something had been lodged in the gap behind the pipes. From I this angle, don't I could see that bit. something had been lodged... Yeah, I do not remember that. Right, so let's have a little look down the pipes. Behind the table were some damaged pipes. Ooh. Voila! The police and forensic teams had missed a vital piece of evidence. Indeed they have. Some it's kind of part. pouch. Ah. How many on times have you played this one? was the cross symbol of Conchon's organization. I was on the right track. Ooh. Yep, no, we're, we're doing good, we're doing good. I like it when there's new bits added, because it, it, it kind of, um, it well, obviously adds more content, but uh, as someone who played the original but then didn't play... You know, this one. There was nothing of interest beyond some bloody debris. I'm generally curious. Oh, God, I just picked it up a few times, but not so many as OG. Oh, God. There was nothing oh, of no, interest beyond there. some bloody debris. Yeah, we don't want the bloody debris. Let's get out of here. Right, so we've got that. We've got that. Let's... Should we have some brandy? Let's get some brandy. Some journalists drink on the job. Not me. Come on, Nico. Right, so, is there anything else in here, or is it just that guy? Actually, let's have a little look at the parcel. Where has it gone? There it is. On the pouch was the cross symbol of Conchon's organization. Inside the pouch were two items. A strange metallic artifact and a letter in some kind of code. Oh, shit. We're going to have to fill out the code again. Another coded message using the same cipher system. So, Plantard was involved with Conchon. Oh, Meg. We're here again. We're here again. We're, we're going to be here all day. Let's see if the team can come together and do it. Uh, the note has been written using a substitute cipher. This means that it's a different symbol has been used to represent each of the letters in the alphabet. To crack the code, you must correctly match all of the symbols and their corresponding letters. Highlight a symbol and then highlight the corresponding letter. Okay, so we're back to doing this again. Who gave me permission to stream early? I'm streaming the... 
the exact time. I'm supposed to be streaming. I'm supposed to be streaming at this time. You know, Mondays, Wednesdays, from 6 o'clock. That's when I stream now. Nick, put it in your diary. <laughs> How are you doing anyways? Right, um, we are back to trying to work out these guys again. So, um... Oosh. Right, so this is a different symbol this time. So I'm going to go for... So, two-letter words. We've got at, we got on, we got it, we got if. Um, let's try if... Okay, no. Well, that's an apostrophe and an S. Or well, apostrophe and an F. So maybe that one should actually be an S. No. No, did I do that wrong? Reset. Ah, oh, I did, I did, I did. Right, so. What are we saying? It says 1900 hours in your info. I love these puzzles. Hi, Nick. <laughs> uh. See, I don't. My dyslexia really does not give me a good time with this. I struggled with it last on the last stream. Um, so we had to, like, we, had, we got, like, three other people. We had um, Rosh, we had Ilva, and we had Kida uh, all helping me out to try and work out these puzzles. So it should be a fun one. Johnny Shen World. Well, Shen Yu, if that's kind of come back to do that, I might be playing again soon. Shen Yu 2, that is. Because I discovered that... Um, uh, the PlayStation games you get with PlayStation Network, you don't get to keep when you stop having PlayStation Network. So I've lost like half of my PlayStation library because I just don't really fancy paying Sony the extra money anymore. I wasn't using it. I was literally, I'd, I'd only turned on my PlayStation to get the free games for that month. That's all I've, I've done for like the last several months. So I might just go back to that. Yeah, that's massive rubbish. Yeah, you can say that again. I mean, if you struggle with normal words and stuff. Hang on, where are we going? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's a different code this time, Elves. So it's a brand new code, brand new cipher. So we need to work it out again. So um, I've got a two letter word here. So that's um, what I was thinking to work out. So it's is. The reason why I went with is, because there's an apostrophe S here. So, and that's making me think it's a uh, plural. So if it, that's a plural and that's an S, but then again, I'm looking at the rest of it, and I have a feeling that. Um, the I, it should be as, not is. That's what I'm thinking. So, the, that guy is going to be an A. So, yeah. So, that gets us somewhere. It's going to be fun. Uh, you paid X amount of months, years for it. You should keep them. I agree. I agree. This Because uh, there's a PlayStation Now which is like a subscription service for games, kind of like Game Pass or I see it like Spotify. And so with that, when you stop your subscription, totally understand, you know, they can drop the games. But when they say that you, they give you two free games a month, you never hear them say, as long as you are a member and subscribing to us. They don't do that. They don't do that. They literally, so I feel like I've lost like so many games. And I've only got like a pack of games about that big, say about 15 games or so. Um, on my PlayStation 4 because I didn't use it. I bought it for one game and one game only. And that was Metal Gear Solid 5. And to me, that was a disappointment. <laughs> so it was like, it was downhill from there, basically. Totally downhill from there. Three days out of five, 12 hour shifts. Done. Hey, nicely done. To be honest, we say free. They never said free. Ah, well, possibly, but it just makes me not want to use them even more because it's deceitful. Deceitful, I tell you. First day out of four for me tomorrow. Nick, hey, well, at least you guys got some time off. I'm still looking for a job. I actually applied for a job at CEX. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll get the message back and saying, hey, come work for us. Because it'd be nice to actually have a job and have money and an income and something to leave the house for. But yeah, at the moment, it's just depression, darkness and sadness. Um, so all the, all the fun things, you know. Anyways, oh, thank you. Hopefully it will come. I'm after a job. I'm after a job. So it's going to be curious to see what happens. Uh, right, so, where was we at? Because we, we need to get this. Right, so we've got another two-letter word there. Um, but yeah, we've got, uh, we've got to try to do something. We've got, we've got the same word here twice. So, what four-letter word potentially has an AS in it? This could be fun. 
Uh, you look exactly like a CX worker, but please don't smell like one. Give it a sniff. Give it a sniff. No, I'll probably just turn up with my um, TM Punk shirt and just screw them off. Oh, actually, we have another one, another two-letter word there. So, is this, is this where we're going to start? E, how's it going? Right, come on, gals. Right, Rosh, Ilva, help. <laughs> uh, anyone that's good with word puzzles, I need all of the help here that I can. It's going to be needed. Uh, right, so, uh, this one could be and, but that would mess... But that would be an A at the end, wouldn't it? Do we do we know a three-letter word that begins with S and doesn't have two of the same characters in it again? Right, so this... Oh, so that's one and that's one. So we know that there's two that end in... Two that end in the same letter, but the other one is different. Uh, I can tell you it, but that's too much help. Well, no, I don't. I don't want the entire thing explained. But we need to. St I need to start somewhere. Um. And yeah. Ooh. Try the vowels first. But I'll have to find something that is a vowel to start it. Because originally I was thinking like A E I O and U. A E I O U. Yeah, there was five of them. Um, I need to try find those, those ones out first, and then we can work on the rest. So, but what, um, I remember when Kidder was on, Kidder was basically saying, work out the two-letter words first. So I've got as there, and I've got B, like, a, let's just say B-N, but then we also have, an, like, an, a capital N-N. -N. Uh, let me try to work it out again. I think I know second word. Can I have a vowel, please, Carol? <laughs> no. No, you cannot, Nick. You can have a continent and you can like it. Is it continent? No, continent is the landmass, isn't it? Continent? Then, uh, looking... Uh, the N-looking one may be U. As in the capital N-looking one? Or the lowercase N-looking one? <laughs> uh, let's give that... Let's give it a shot. What, what, what's the worst that can happen, right? Oh, because there's a... There's a different capital N-looking one. Damn it! Are we thinking... Where, where, where has it gone? That one. You think this could be a U? Uh, well, we would... We'd end up with sun. And that would end... And the lowercase one would end up as an N. If, if that was sun. So we've got sun. We've got un. We've got as. Uh, is the B one an I? So that'd be in. Um, where's the bead-looking one? There. So let's put that as an I. Ooh, okay. Well, at some, some projects here. Tell a lie, lowercase one is E. The lowercase N-looking one. Uh, as in that one? Well, that would be Sue instead of Sun. And it wouldn't really match up with that one, because that would be like something E. Give it a try. I-E. Knee. Sure. S-U-R-E. No, because that U would mess up. It wouldn't be Sue. Hmm. Thank you there for the look. It's an explanation mark lurk, by the way, Squishy. Not an at. But that's if you want to use that one or not. There we go. Oh, thank you for the wishing of the lux there, Ninja. It should be fun to actually find out and to see where this actually goes. Uh, hang on, what's that? You see the video when she spells out slut. Hang on, how did I miss that, Nick? What on earth was that? Uppercase one is I. So, this one, you're saying is an I. But then that would do in the rest of it. And that would be C. This is, this is... There we go. Okay, this is going to go well. Thank you for the look there, Squiddy. Right, so we've got as. 
Uh, we haven't got you anymore. So maybe that is... So the... What we call dubbed the elephant one last time. I oh, know. The elephant one should be a U. And the D is potentially an R. Because I'd be sure. No, that's not making sense. That's really not making sense. Oh, look at the love hearts bouncing around. I love it looking down and seeing all the love hearts. It's always fun when that happens. Right. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere here. Because it'd be road. Road? Well, for some reason my head's going road. I'm not percent sure of what the second word is. If you want it. This one. Choose? C H E? No. See, because what it messes, my brain is trying to work out what the word is from the symbols, and that's not how it works. Uh, aw, thank you for the hug there, Ninja. Massive appreciation. Skins, check your... Okay. Do I want to? Do I want to? I forgot I had a no, not safe for work option in um, my Discord. So let's, I don't know, let's see if it's safe for this stream, actually. Because it probably is not. Right, do ba doo. Let's have a little look. Um, hang on, what? Do you know what? I've not been using Discord that much of late. But where is the not safe for work? Me? Oh, the memes. Is it in the memes section? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Ta-da! Whoops. I have a feeling that may have come up backwards for you guys, but you know, we shall see it. We shall see it. Uh, it's safe. Also, got the I wrong. It might be a H. <laughs> right. So, take away the I. So that'd be H and then the capital A. So that's he. Ooh. Okay. That's good work. Sometimes slut prefers to do it backwards. Indeed. <laughs> you got a combo. C -c 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 combo. Right, so where are we at? So we've got she now. Okay, that's... we got a word. we got a he. That's also a word, which I'm aware of. Um, Hong isn't right. Second word is a name. Oh, this one. That one's that one's a name. Whose name? <laughs> it looks like Ninja's working working on getting his combo going off. Right. So B. Am I looking at that? I'm, my brain's just filling it in as that's a B, but it probably isn't. Okay. Bast. Back. Should that be a K? That's that'd be key. B. Oh, this is one. I think it's Nico's father. If you know it yet. Oh, okay. Right. So let's come out of there for a second. Uh, let's go in. It was the beautiful elephant my father had carved. Um, I had decrypted the Napier. For this is show not me the a code. coincidence. Indeed, take great I, I'd been... Another coded message. So, Plantard was involved with Cochon. Right, so, we're back into it again. Let's see where this goes. Uh, I'm not sure if I know the dad's name yet. Right, so we we had uh, she capital oh, capital M was a H, and the that other N was an E. What's his name? I don't know. I don't know his name. I just called him Pa. <laughs> um. Back home, she... Hang on. 
Okay, that's enough. If we can get the O's, we get these guys down. That might help. Uh, where are they? These guys. So, I can see if I can work out anything with highlighting those. Which isn't particularly helpful. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at these. Oh, cheers for the light there, Rush Face. Massive appreciation. But help. Uh, um... Oof. Are they just adding these just to troll me? Is that what's going on? They're just trolling me now. They're trying to get me into as much trouble as humanly possible. Uh, get a dyslexic to do a word puzzle. This is always fun, right? <laughs> uh, right, so... Um, I'm wondering if that is home. So... H-O... And then the wibbly-wobbly is an M... That's an R. What's an R? What one's an R? Damn it. This one. Is that an R? G prees. G prees. Saying that's an R. Oh, there's a lot of those guys though. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. The one you had highlighted earlier. This this guy. Is this guy an R? Is that what we're saying? Press G. Like the unfinished O. Ah, that guy. That's You're saying that's an R. Pierre. So let's go. I think... I think that the, that is Pierre. P I. So let's go wibbly wobbly and go I. Okay, so then, but then we got Pierre. And Pierre was in the last one. I think. Yes, Pierre. Because we did get Pierre on the last one, but I just had to work that one out. Um, so, uh, S I R E. No, we got I already. And we got R's. Oh, I R. And that's not an R, so it's coming sure. Share? No. Oh, I'm not good at these things. Ah, this is not my expertise. Maybe V I for G, maybe. V I for G, maybe. I don't know. Uh, right. Whew. Right, so uh, let's, this, this, where's that RV guy gone? There. So we've got a lot of these guys. Could be an A. N. No, that doesn't work well. Is Isabel? No. Uh, ah, I know the word that says Hilla currently is another name. Uh, he... Hilla. Uh, I'm not good at names. I'm not good at these spelling things. I suck. I just want to get to the normal game. Right, um... Here's, here's, cheer, cheers, tivers. I don't know. <laughs> uh, an ex-French and Arsenal footballer. Oh, that's helpful for someone who doesn't play football or watch football or enjoy it at all. To be honest, um, Fiers. So we're looking for uh, where's that little percentage-looking one? That guy. Um, ter Terry? Does that work at all? Um, T H I E R R Y. <laughs> so I, I am absolutely shit at this. I'll be the first person to tell you as soon as it comes to wordplay, I suck. I, I 
totally suck. Right, so we still got this two-letter word here. Um, so, a as do we have an A? No, we've got an A. Biz, so diz, fizz, giz, jizz. <laughs> ah, this this is not working out. First word is a name as well. Planta, P L. Planta, as in the character we met earlier. Don't tell me we've already got that one. The backwards E. Where's that backwards E? There it is. Plan. P L. So let's go. Ooh, is that? A, have we got a K? Have we using a K yet? No, we're not. So is that kill? Um. So Perry. Elez, Belez. Um, right, we've got another one of those. Trust. T R U. No. Trays? Say? Said? Yes, is that one? Ah, it's coming together now. Yeah, no, it's slowly. Plan. Plan. P L A N. Planta, uh, planta, Pierre, something, something, Bast, Haim, something, trial, something, Araz, and, oh, is that, is that one a D? Plantard, Pierre, Killed? What's that? Skill? Skill? Maybe that is a K. Plantar killed. Something. Something. Hame. Something. Trial. Something. Ah. Uh, and Yab. Yamma? Yada? Is it a D? No, it wasn't a D. Uh, he something something four got the F. Let's give that a try. It's got three armed um, skill far. No F four. Okay, let's give that a try. Let's try to get this to four. See if that makes sense. Right, it's got a uh, joint up S. Let's join up S there. O is uh, O with a line in it is K. After fear is, is a G. Last word is a name. We've got the M. Uh, is that one a now? Will. Planta. Pierre killed something, something. That's not right. Followed trial from Arno and Ahmad for something now. We something something Millate Fiers girl. Is that G? So that just should be girl. Are we, are we, girl, is that B, is that broke, broke into Perez safe, she worries, is that, is that one supposed to be an M, this is going to mess with things, no, that does line up, because there's, that would be from most, no, we've already got an O. Uh, most? Must? Oh, that could actually work. Right, let's go there. Let's go M. And let's go that one. Um, M-U. No, I did that wrong. Did that wrong. 
Um, oh, should... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it that one? No, it's that one. Us. You. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Q, Q. Okay, we'll come. So that's this. Okay. Did we just create? Nope. Nothing. Well, every, everything looks. Plant up. Pierre killed. Mur murder. Must. Okay. No. Sh something's not right here. GG. M is V. M is V. Because that would be... V. Oh no. Um, squiggly, squiggly thing. Is V. Have... Oh. Okay. So we've only got these letters left. So it's not murdered. Surrendered? Well, that... Oh, that doesn't work. Actually, it does work. Ah, crap. That wouldn't work. Because that, to me, says V. Or M, should I say. Planted. Have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. She worries me. Imelda. So much for it. Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her. We and for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? I'm happy. Was it a trap? Or maybe <laughs> he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story. Whatever the story was. One thing was clear. It was a story worth killing for. Ooh. There we go. We achieved it. I can't believe we actually done, done that. Thank you so much for all of the help. And we eventually got there in the end. Right, so... Uh, the question being... Is there anything else in here? Or is that just that done now? When are we supposed to... Hey! What about my photos? Oh, of course. How could I forget? Well... I'm waiting. Get your camera out. Get your camera out. Camera. Oh, I forgot. It broke. Hello. They should never send a woman to do a man's job. Well, this woman had fooled him easily enough. And found the evidence the police had missed. Oh, was he going to stop me going into the actual building? And I completely skipped that out. Right, so. Oh, hang on. There was more to talk about, wasn't there? There was like, you know, entire conversation trees that we've completely left. Hello? Let's see where this goes. Hello. Yes. Right, yeah. Small massage. Tell me, are you related to the workman I saw digging the hole? Don't talk to me about flabage. Pah! Hey. He Bad. just won a fortune on the horses and he won't give me a cent. Well, it's his money. When he was broke, he was happy to touch me for a loan. Brothers should look after each other, he used to say. He's changed his Your tune brother. now, he's brassed up. Brassed up. Have the police finished with the crime scene? What does it look like? I got orders to board up the windows, and that's what I'm doing. Let's see this goes. Right, so... So the body's been removed? I certainly hope so, or it'll stink to high heaven when they take down these <laughs> boards. Shouldn't you check? Are you kidding? They don't pay me enough to put up boards, let alone check for dead bodies. No. Let's not do that. Right, so do we need to discuss anything? Do you know this man? He looks like a nasty piece of work. Let's see where this goes. I had an uncle who was with the fascists, but we never talk about him. What happened to him? How should I know? We never talk about him. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, don't talk about fascists. Simple. Um, Would you like to see this? No. Okay. Do you recognize this? It looks like a kid's puzzle piece. Was it a cousin, kid's what puzzle piece? What do you piece? think of my shell case? Are you in the scrap business? <laughs> of course not. Pity. I've got some rubbish just like that I need to get rid of. Am I going to get anything from this or am I just, just killing time now? Um, yeah, let, let, let's skip over. Au revoir. Right. 
Is it worth going to the alleyway? I don't know. Maybe it's worth going to the alleyway. We shall find out. And anything in here? Do we get, do, will we get scared by another cat? That's what I'm wondering. There might have been clues down there, but I was relieved I didn't have a sewer key. Nope, nope. See what George broke earlier on? The pipes weren't going to help my investigation. Nope. Okay, cool. Right, so there's nothing in the alleyway for her. For her. Where is we supposed to meet, George? I... I needed to take a closer look at the objects I'd found in Plantard's pouch. Okay. So, what's this? The artifact had a sword laid across scales. There was a picture of Lady Justice on the lock panel in the room below the conciergerie. Another coded message using the same Let's cipher see, system. Goes. So, Plantard was involved with Cochon. Plantard. Pierre killed. Murderer must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. Me. She worries me. Imelda. So much for Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her and for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? Was it a trap? Or maybe he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story, whatever the story was. One thing was clear. It was a story worth killing for. Okay, so that has helped me not at all. Maybe, maybe a quick phone call. Who do I need to call? And don't say Ghostbusters. I didn't need to call anyone. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Not Ghostbusters. The door was locked. Okay, right. So I'm exhausting most of these resources now. Okay, don't don't teleport. Ghostbusters call. Yo. I'm afraid you can't go in there, madame. Okay, okay. I was just in there. I was just in there less than two seconds ago. Hello? Right, so I'm obviously missing something, otherwise I'll be able to leave yes. the scene. Um, so... Look at this secret message. Very nice. But it's not secret now, is it? It's just a message. Okay, so it's not that. He wouldn't be interested in a substitution cipher. Have you ever seen anything like this? Rub everything together, basically. What do you think I am? A plumber? Ooh, okay. Would you recognize this? That is the key to a safe. A Warren special, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. He knows his stuff. What do you like this, this coffee? It's the kind of thing you pick up for a couple of euros at Les Pustes de saint ouen Was euros even a thing when this game came out? I'm actually genuinely curious now. Hang on. Uh, what year did the E-U-R-O come into existence? Because it was 96. 96 is when um, this game originally came out. And... Let's have a little look. Um, okay, it entered into force in 1993 with the goal of creating an economic monetary union by 1999. And all of the EU states except UK and Denmark, even though Denmark has a fixed exchange policy with the euro. The currency was formed in 99. Okay, so when this game actually came out, the euros weren't invented. So... Obviously, this is the, you know, the remake, which obviously came out yeah, years later. But yeah, there's a fun fact. They added euros. <laughs> they added euros to this game. Because they said they had francs. I remember having francs when I was a kid when I went over there. So, yeah, hilarious. You see this ticket? Are you trying to bribe me? No. I don't blame you, of course. A good-looking fella like me. Okay. Right, so we're running out of objects to rub into Take his face now. Take a look now. at this. I don't like lessy hankies. They scratch my nose. I can see how that must be a problem for you. Oh, sliding there on the big nose. Would you like this air clip? What do you take me for? Some kind of a pervert? Pervert? Okay. Right, so we've used up all of our talking resources. Au revoir. And we've used up... 
Hey! How's it going, Chaz? Nice to see you, man. You good? Right, so we can't go in. We've already talked to him. There was nothing I could do. The workman had everything under control. It's a boy. Yeah, it is. How you been, man? You been good? Right, was there something else here that I'm not picking up on? It's probably. Probably knowing me. Aw. Oh, are oh, the peeps getting along? Right, so there was nothing up there. I didn't think there was anything down the alleyway, so I guess we should find out and see where this goes. So, is there anything else I can click on? Because this is an old school adventure where you just basically click on shit until you get what you want. Right, but there is literally, there's nothing in the alleyway. The pipes Drink. weren't going to help my investigation. I'm drinking, I'm drinking. Hang on. Is that a fresh drink? How many drinks have you given me? All right, one, two... Now, check posture, drink, drink. Ah, there we go. Just this minute. I completed them all. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't see that last one. It didn't, it didn't pop up on my list. Irritatingly. Uh, anyways, let me get... Oh, back onto a decent screen. That isn't blinding me, it's brightness. Right, so there's nothing I can do here. She doesn't have a Siri key. There might have been clues down there. But I can't get access to it because I can't... What? Well, I haven't got anything I could use with this. Unless... Could that be used with that? Uh, no. Apparently not. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. No, these aren't working. The photograph showed Carchon smiling happily to camera with a background of burning huts and death. Hugs. Oh, the hugs. Right, so we've got this guy here. The artifact had a sword laid across scales. There was a picture of Lady Justice on the lock panel in the room below the conciergerie. Okay. So we go back to the concierge. The strange metal artifact I found in Plantard's pouch had pointed back to the quayside. Okay. Yeah, I just need to look at that. Great. Great. So what are these quotes from? 6th of November, 2021. We're not even in the 6th of November yet. 6th of November. We're not even in November as of yet. The cross looked familiar. I'd seen it before. Okay, so let's take that. Let's take that. And let's... Nope, nothing there. Okay, so let's go in. Let's go in there. Is it the little hole? Okay, so we've got to reopen this gaff and see what's going on. It's, it is approaching. It's getting there soon. We're going to have some silliness happening. And like, what, what are people's plans for um, uh, Halloween? Anyone got anything, anything fun going on? What are you doing on the 6th of November this year? Ringing a vague bell. I'm not sure. I think there's something... I know, if Rocheface is still in the chat, I think we may have planned something that I can't move off the top of my head without looking at a calendar. Alright, so let's go over there. I'm wondering if... Yeah, no, that's Lady Liberty. So let's take you out of there and let's plop you into there. So we're doing a flyby. Or flyby, flyback. We're going to see what's going on. Where's I right? Let's just open that. My charity stream's on the 6th. Ah. Lantard's key fitted the lock, so he must have used this place too. Okay, let's have a little look on the inside. Um, the folders were empty. Someone had removed anything that they thought could be incriminating. Okay, what about a photograph this? had been torn up. So now I've got uh, <laughs> I've got to fix if these up. I could just arrange the pieces. Oh, your birthday's on the sixth. Ah, happy birthday for the sixth, Ninja. All right, I'm assuming. Oh my God. It can't be. It's Papa. Um, to do. Alright, okay. Let's organise these a bit better. And uh, do that's got to be his shirt. That's got to be a bit more of his shirt. 
see where this goes. And da -da. no, that does not go there. Maybe that doesn't go there actually. Oh no, those two match apparently. So where's a the corner? There's a corner. Okay. Uh, we're missing his. There we go. Put that there, that there, that was there. Uh, that new game I've been playing with, Ilva, has been coming in very handy. I've got really good at making all these things happen. Uh, it's a. Um, uh, like a found object game, but parts of our is reconstructing a um, photos every time you get a clue. So that now, that now, that now. There was no doubt about it. It was a picture of my father. Yee, did it. Papa, oh God. After Don't what I'd him, gone Papa. through, I thought I could face anything, but not this. My father, the one person in the whole world who I truly admired, standing with Cachon. While those murderers carried on with their evil work, my father, <laughs> grinning at the camera. Good evening. I How dare he grin? It. I realized that I desperately needed to get to the bottom of this story, and that I really needed George. Georgie. Okay. Now what? Return back home. And is now? Is he going to come? That should be a good one, man. What are you planning to do for your birthday? Anything fun? I hope you're going to do something fun. And maybe you'll join um, uh, Charlie's stream. For your charity stream. If you're not doing anything, obviously, for your birthday. Ah, we've started to promote it. Good. Do the promotion, man. The promotion does actually help. I need to do promotion more as well, but I've been busy. I pushed against the door, but it seemed to be locked. Oh, no. I'm going to have to talk to the old lady. It's for young minds in the UK. I'm guessing I don't count as a young mind anymore. Oh, hi. Bonjour, monsieur. Would you like me to foretell your future? Yeah. Uh, no thanks. I'm very good. It only takes a minute. Thanks all the same, but I'm not superstitious. Besides, if it only takes a minute, well, that that's graphic not is much not of a the best. To look to. Walk in the background. Uh, right, let's. Do you recognize show my this nose? nose? No, monsieur. No. What can you tell me about this tissue? Nothing. You're not a very good thingy, are you? Psychic. What do you make of this tool? Is it something a dentist would use? No. It's for raising manhole covers. For uh, it's a mental health charity. They help uh, mainly kids and every... Uh, but everyone. You know, mines I know of. I've, I've definitely heard of mines. But um, obviously, this is like mine's kids, like a specific thing for. What can you the tell me about this generation? Which do need it right now. It's a very expensive piece of cloth, Monsieur. Now, the, the, there's this whole link between kind A stuff and depression, um, and it's obviously a lot more rife to, in this day and age. But um, yeah, no, it's definitely a good charity, um, and yeah, definitely worth the actual the extra help. I've changed stuff. my mind. Will you tell my fortune? You're going on a long journey. Yay. My oh my. It's what a surprise. Oh, is. Your Can you are. tell me anything I don't already know? Uh, let's just get to... Do you know Nicole. a young woman called Nicole Collard? Nicole yes, Collard. I do. She lives upstairs from me in the apartment block across the street. I tried the door, but it's locked. You know, I've told the landlord about Mara. that a million times. It is a damp. How is it going? The old building is like a sponge. Mwah. It sucks mark, mark, up mark, the moisture straight. from God knows where. You mean the door is stuck because it's swollen? That is correct. You got a raid yet? There is an art to today. opening it. Don't show it. My last raid was... Just give it a gentle nudge a above over the log. A week and a bit ago. Thanks for the advice. How long has Mademoiselle Collard lived here? A few months. She's in for a shock when the cold weather comes. <laughs> Drafty so windows, insufficient heating. It's a struggle of to keep warm. Is. The only reason I stay is because the rent is cheap. Your young lady, she deserves better. Okay, cool. Right, See so you later. If we fix That's the door, right, I mean, now it's stuck. Then we just need to give it a good kick in. You always stream before me. I cry. 
You cry, don't cry. Be happy, my friend. Remember the on flower soon. seller's advice. Aw, oh, thanks, I man. I pushed the door gently, just above the lock. Hi. <laughs> Bonjour. Bang. I'm glad you could make it, monsieur. Wow, oh, please, straight in the door, man. George. Straight in there. I'm Nicole. Oh, maybe I'll shoot Take you right beat, afterwards. George. We'll see what's happening. What are you playing today, anyways? You playing COD? I I'm going to And what have you been up to? I've been exploring yeah. the sewers. Myra, what have you cafe. been up to? I thought I could been, smell something seen bad. The clown Ages. used the sewer to escape and to change out of his costume. Been a, been I guess he was a in a minute. hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. You had better luck than I did. Luck, she said. Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. Mm -hmm. What happened? My editor told me to drop the story. Can you believe it? But you're not going to do that. Destiny oh, no. Street. I'm mm. going to find out what's behind these killings. It just doesn't add up. It almost feels like some sort of conspiracy. The police in three different countries have kept very quiet about the murders. The press don't connect them at all. Mm. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. Well, that covers just about everyone. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, second job. What, what was your? What's your? What are you doing for your second job? At least you. I was going to say at least you got one, but you got two. That's pretty cool, man. I'm currently searching for a new job. Um, I applied for a couple, so uh, the the one that has probably the most promise right now is one at CEX, which is a uh, like a porn shop kind of thing, um, and not the porn as in adult entertainment. I mean, dropping your stuff off and get money back. It's kind of like that, kind of like cash converters, but uh, it's mostly for game technology, all that kind of stuff. So I'm crossing my fingers for that. But what was the new job? Uh, it has been a while. Now, have, have, oh, how have you been? I've been mostly good, getting through life, trying to get new jobs, trying to keep myself well, keep my girls okay, because obviously, you know, I've got two partners, so uh, as much, uh, it's lots of fun, but obviously it's a lot of work, um, and, no, that sounds wrong. Um, oh, how can I say it in a, in a much better way? Because I don't see it as work, I don't see it as a lot, but obviously, when you've got more, when you've got a partner, you give them your energy and your love and your support, uh, and then when you got two, everything's doubled. So, yeah, I couldn't try to dig myself out of that hole because it's not at all what I'm in at Hayes. Um, you're on your lunch break now. Oh, hang on. Um, uh, my partner and I own a small prop shop, and now I also work for my parents' mom at her shop down downtown area. Ooh, okay, so you're still keeping it in the family, which means at least you don't have to, like, uber go crazy about a boss and stuff because, you know, you've got good times, hopefully. But um, how's it working out? You're not over. You're not burning your candle at both ends. I hope, like you're balancing it. Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Um, right, where are we at? Let's go. I found this nose. false nose in the sewer. Wow, hey, the size we're of that nose. Studied. The contents of someone's nose? Don't be cross, George. It says La Rise du Monde. Masks and costumes. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint Lazare. I'll check it out. Maybe the owner remembers who hired the clown costume. <laughs> well, isn't that part of watching someone, Shen? Like, when you watch someone else playing it, it gives you the, like, oh, I want to play it. it. means I'm doing a good job. Or hopefully, I'm doing a right job. Uh, I've also been looking for housing during a housing crisis. Best time to be looking for a house. <laughs> but massive good luck on that. And especially, like, if you're going to work the second jobs and stuff, is there, and if you're at home, um, then you can save the money because obviously you need like a two months rent don't you most of the time it's like one to go down and one to cover as in like um not insurance um i'm trying to remember the name of it there's a word for it in english that my brain is just um deposit you have to put a deposit down that's the word i was looking for uh have you played all the broken sword games i definitely is hmm. uh no i've only played one and two um but i did buy one two and three on steam the other day uh, basically, I saw it, um, it was on my wish list for Bug Tour 2, and it popped up, it was £1.50. I was like, ah, okay, cool. And then I looked and saw that the uh, Bug Tour 1 was also going for £1.50. So I was like, ah, sweet, Bug Tour 1 and 2 for three quid. That sounds great. And then I looked, and it had a multi-deal where I could get 1, 2, and 3 for three quid. So I'm like, screw it, let's do it, let's do it. So I got, I got all three. I got the, well, I know there's like five, five or six. They changed the design now a lot, didn't they? Because I think in the fourth or fifth one, it, it starts being a point and click and starts being an actual tank controls kind of one, I think. But um, yeah, I don't know. So I've only ever played one and two. This is, I think, the first time I've played the director's cut of one. So we shall find out. 
so it should be should be fun to, to do. Ah, right, so um, grease proof or grease paper. Look at the size of it. I found this tissue down the sewer. No, that's disgusting, George. No, no, no. Georgie. I think the stuff on it is grease paint, like actors use or clowns. clowns. It's still Absolute disgusting. Bargain. Get yeah, rid back. of it. Back to the fifth. They bring it back to point and click. Okay, so. Oh, what? So is number three a tank control one as well? Or, I don't know, is, is, I'd be curious to see if three is point and click or it's tank controls. But if they bring it back in number five, that'd be handy. One and two are the best, but really enjoyed five as well. Okay, so basically I'm not going to have a good time when I get to the third one. Is that what you're saying? I found a piece of material near the cafe. It should be fun to find when out, I showed actually. it to the concierge, he recognized it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait Indeed. until you see this. I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, George. It's an enlargement I made. Has it got George's face on it? I don't know. Let's find out. Look what that guy is wearing. Checkered pants. The same material as I found in the sewer. Look at the That's scar. Great. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Ooh, got another oh, drink. No. Take a close look at his right cheek. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Or a crescent moon. A horseshoe or a crescent moon. Which one's it gonna be? Thank you for the drink there. Good to keep me hydrated, Ninja. Massive appreciation. Now, I would I'd still enjoy free, but I prefer as a point and click game. Not a fan of four, though. Well, you know, you never know. I, I am going to be trying um, a few different games out. There's one... Uh, it's like a, a future noir, kind of tech noir kind of one that um, I got called, uh, from Silver Fish something called another. I'm looking forward to that one, but I'm going to do what, this one, Broken Sword 2 and Broken Sword 3, I'm going to do them back to back. So if you want to catch up on your Broken Swordage, you're more than welcome to keep How following. come you enlarged this photograph of me? I because I that. noticed the guy behind you, of course. Uh, another drink? Ooh. And tool, drink. I'm going to need to pee in a minute. This is the tool drinks. I use to get into the sewers. Fascinating, George. You're not interested, are you? <sighs> oh, of course I am. I think Enjoy. it was very brave of you to go down those sewers. Yeah? Well, it was kind of scary, but, well, ah. I had a job to do. Eat. You're going to make me do my posture check. Ah. You're going to join me? Come on. Come on, guys. Everyone, come together. Join me. Hands together. Let's go up, out, and then down behind the neck. Get that little click on your back. Let's go again. Up you go, out, and down. Oh, I click down now. Stretch it up. So I'm touching my ankle with my left hand while the right hand's going to the roof. And then back down the other side. Uh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Ah. And then roll them back in. Ah, I needed that. Uh, Ninja actually gave me a posture check at the beginning of the stream. And I was literally, I was all limbo and numb, numb? Nimble. I was nimble. And yeah, and then I was like, okay, I just needed a little bit. That time around, it felt good to do a proper, a proper stretch, proper posture check. Posture checks are good. So thank you so much for that, yeah. And <laughs> Ninja's like, yeah, go pee. And then Charlie sent me another drink. It's gonna be the end of this one, actually. After this, I'm gonna have to actually like, top it up. Otherwise, I will end up peeing myself, and I'm sure you guys do not want to see that live on stream. Not today, anyways. So I'll save that for my my eventual 24-hour stream, maybe. And sh I'm sure that will go well. Right, anyways, where are we up to? Let's ask some questions about the clown. Let's see where this is going to go. Tell me more about the clown's previous victims. The first was Arno Belotta, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. <laughs> he made his money from Myra, stop getting and ideas. the post-war slimming and stop diet it. boom. Imagine it. Millions of housewives <laughs> literally speeding their butts off. The only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. She swears he was lured to his death by a snowman. Ooh. What about the clown's second victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese politician. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. How did he die? At the hands, or should I say flippers, of a giant emperor penguin. Oh, a no. snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. I had been about to add mime to the list, but stopped myself. I really Myra, didn't want to have to explain to George about that. my father's involvement with Cachon. You know, I hate to admit it, but this is scary. And I'll tell you this, I will not be accepting any invitations to costume parties. I don't blame you for being scared. 
I am too. I don't think I'd go and see him at all for for quite some time afterwards. Or an early death. Yeah, no. No costume parties for George Stobart anytime soon. Or any of us, I think. Can you guys stop it? I'm not gonna... I, I, I don't know how many rules that would be breaking on, um, on Twitch's terms and conditions. Like, I'm pretty sure... I don't know, actually. I'll have to, I'll have to reread it, because they have been updating it and changing it. It's been a while since I last read them, but... You know, I, I don't generally do anything too naughty on stream. Currently. Wait till my birthday. My, my, my birth, if I do a birthday stream, which I probably will, then things could get messy all over again. <laughs> Only one way to find Tell out. Tell me more about what, yourself. Reading the terms and conditions? There's or just doing it and finding out? Well, how'd you get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought me my first camera. Lucky I was you. eight, and my parents had just split up. Oh, no. I don't like when things, things go sideways. I had to buy my, uh, my first camera. And my second. And my third. And my fourth. This one's my fourth, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a couple of cameras. I've actually got even more cameras up there. I've got, I got, I got a nice little collection. I've got some nice classics as well, actually. Look at this one. This is a proper old school classic film camera, if there was any film in there. But this one, I don't even know if it's fully functional. I've never fully tested this one. But it's pretty, though. You know what I mean? She's a pretty camera. But then, obviously, I can't use it on streaming or anything like that. So I don't bother. I don't try. But anyways. Stop getting distracted, Skinny. <laughs> this is what happens when an ADHD kid is playing point and click. It's very distracted. Did you live with your father? Yes. My mother went off with her new boyfriend. I didn't mind. Papa was all I needed. Papa! Four years later, he died in a plane crash. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. It's all right. I don't mind talking about him. He was more like an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted me to study art. That's why I went to college. Collage? I went to collage. Yes. Did you learn about photography at college? Oh God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything we used. Paint, canvas, paper. Most of my year turned to minimalism. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park for squirrel hair. The only time I wasn't hungry was the term I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh, no. <laughs> I would. Okay, back to work. Enjoy the game. No worries, Myra. Good luck with the new job. Good luck with the uh, the flat hunting. If I could help, I would, but you're on the wrong side of the ocean for me. But I'm sending loads of love. So take care, stay well, and remember, do rest. Do rest, because I do actually care about you guys. So, mwah. Take care. Hey, I'm just me. Just me, consistently. I'll be streaming, I'll do my best. And catch you soon, bye. Right, so where are we at? Um, oh, we've talked about everything we've talked about everything down there i have to go okay i'll see you later you will you will see me later uh good day right so i'm gonna use that as a quick break so i'm gonna pop to the loo because i really need to go to the toilet now so thank you guys you know for uh, up. but um i'll pop to the loo i'll top up my water because we've got to stay hydrated if i get it the right way around <laughs> and yeah i'll be right back in a second so see you in a bit
and I'm back in the house. Hopefully you guys didn't miss me too, too, too much. So bladder has been emptied, water has been refilled, and you guys ready to get back into the action? So let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's go! Right, so, where's we at? Uh, okay, so we're done there. We're done with Nico. Right, so, caf no, we don't want to go to the cafe. There's, that is Nico's apartment. So this is Posto de Pelisa. So let's, let's have a little look here. Oh, I remember this guy. Um, let's go, let's go speak to the copper. Let's see where this takes us. Excuse Explosions. me. Not so fast. I'd like your personal details, please. Huh? What for? In the event of an accident, it would help us to know where to send the body. Look at all those emotes just exploding all over the shop. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Hard no, monsieur, I do not. Me. I oh, have no memory for Ninja. faces. Uh, right, let's Look, speak to the really necessary. I came in here to talk to Rosso. Ah, why did you not say? He's not here. But do you wish to leave a message for him? I have a choice of blue or black pen. I'd recommend the blue for a less formal communication. I'd prefer to talk to him in person. As you wish, mm -hmm. monsieur. Okay. Is Sergeant Mu available? Mu. What? Let's you get Mu in there. To him? Yes, please. I cannot recall the last time someone asked to speak to Mu. No one ever speaks to him. Not even his not kids. Not even his kids. <laughs> ah, bien. Harsh. He is not here, monsieur. He is with Inspector Rosso, like Laurel and Kitten. No, monsieur? Hardy. Oliver Norville Hardy. Okay. Well, now we know uh, Laurel and Hardy's names. And I'm going to get a visit from the cat. Hello, Kufulu. He always knows how to make uh, an impression. Well. Yes, Kofulu. What do you want, Kofulu? You just want a fuss, Kofulu. Yeah, you do. Say hello to the people at home. I don't know why I'm doing this accent. All this accent just came out of nowhere. But it's typical that he wakes up just after I've just gone for a pee. Aw. Meow. Meow. And now you see why I have fluff all over my microphone. Because I have a cat constantly coming to say hello. You're rubbing yourself on my microphone. Kitty. Kitty McKitty kitty face. Right. I'm going to go and give him some food. Because he just woke up after his nap. And he will not leave me alone until I've done that. So, I'm going to go on the be right back screen again. And I will be right back. Promise. We'll not be too long. The joys of having cats, eh? You get used to it eventually. You do get used to it eventually. But yeah, let's um uh, let's see where this is going. Right, so anyways, let me get back into the game and then we can actually get this going. So da -ba -da -da -da. Uh what was we doing? Nothing. I found this tissue. I what the hell is that? <laughs> it's evidence. The power of evidence of what? Mayonnaise smuggling? The sticky stuff is grease paint. Ah, and that is supposed to make He's me happy. He's not very well lit, you got to admit. I suggest you think long and hard about what you are doing with your life, monsieur. Definitely. All right, I've got the nose. I found this red nose near the Café Let's de la Chandelle. A clown's nose? That's right. The guy who wore this is a savage killer. If you say so, monsieur. Right. Okay, that's not helping us. Have you any idea what this tool is used for? We oui, monsieur. Oh, the frogs. It is a dip stick. A dip stick. Okay. Thanks for your help, officer. Well, that's not really help. Let's have a little look at the. It was just some police paperwork, a uh, search warrant. 
It was a search warrant for someone named Robert Overman. Not a name that I recognized. Okay, so the police station has not really helped us, if I'm honest. Let's find out where this goes. I don't know, maybe it'll go somewhere. Maybe it won't. Uh, V8, yeah, that is done right. Can you guys hear the music? I don't know. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out in a second. Alright, so let's give the tailor a call. Let's see what Hello? the tailor's got to say. Who is this? Mr. Todrick? Oh, it's you again. What now? Did you make a suit for a man with a scar on his face? A scar in the shape of a crescent moon? A crescent Maybe. moon? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe not. not. Tell me where I can find him and I'll goes. leave you alone. And if I don't, I won't leave you alone. I can't tell you anything unless you give me his name. Okay. I don't have his name. I don't even have any options. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. Okay. So we're back to square one again. Okay, so let's try out... La Rizzi de Monni. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. Sweet. So, what do we got in here? Anything? Ooh, look at that unicorn. Deadly unicorn. Do you think death rode on a unicorn? A spotted unicorn. Uh, no doubt. Right, so there's nothing else really to grab hold of. So it's just... Ah, oh, okay. A gramophone and to talk to the guy. That's all we've got left. Say that now. Excuse me. Bonjour, monsieur. Please come in. Welcome. Leave the mundane world behind. For in these four walls, fantasy is king. Uh, I don't want a costume. Oof. Didn't Thank you God ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Incredible. You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie. I don't have a sister, and I think I'd look pretty silly in a brassiere. I just need some I think information. You can put it off. Of course. I think How you can, can I off. help you? All right, so let's have a look. We look. See if you, you recognize, recognize the man, this man with the scar. Oui, monsieur. I sold him some grease paint. Okay. So we got some um, starts. Do you want this red nose back? Not after it's been worn, thank you. Nah, we would not want that now, would we? Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Give it a sniff. Mm. Go on. Let me smell that. Ah, remembered. Where are the presents? Where are the presents? Best Imer's number seven, white pancake. Theatrical grease paint, right? Oh, oui, monsieur. La creme de la creme of Cespian accoutrement. Have you sold any of it recently? Yes. Two cans. Two cans. Okay, sweet. So we got somewhere now. I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. Oui, monsieur. I do not see how I can help. Don't you keep a record of costumes that you've rented out? Of course, monsieur, but... Uh... Well, then, I'd like to check your records. Give me the names of everyone who's rented a clown suit. Impossible. There are too, too many. many. Too many clown costumes. Have you heard of a man named Plantile? I do not recall any one of that name. Do you recognize this man? Ah, oui. He was here this morning. That Ooh. is the man to whom I sold the grease paint. Ooh. I remember the scar on his face. He chose two costumes. Bozo the Clown and Seamus the Pixie. A pixie? Very smart. Green silk with a taffeta lining. Yes. He gave me his name as Monsieur Khan. Monsieur Khan? What does man. this tool mean to you? Nothing, Monsieur. Okay, so we got, at least we've got Thanks a name for now. Help, buddy. We've got a name. My pleasure, Monsieur. Allow me to shake you by the hand. Huh? I remember this. Well, okay. I know it's coming. <laughs> what are you 
you trying to do, kill me? You did not find it amusing? I never saw the funny side of electroshock therapy. Nope. Eh bien, it is yours to keep. A gift? Do I need a license? No, but I give you a word of warning, monsieur. Give me what? what? Remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. But, congratulations, we got the name. We've got the name. So it's Mr. Monsieur Khan. So let's go back to um, the sure, police station, or should we go to Nico? Let's go to police station. And let's go use... Oh, and he's back. He is back in the house. So let's call up Plum... Um, oh, what's his name Hello? again? Who is this? Mr. Todrick? Todrick. Oh, it's you again. What now? The man I'm looking for is called... Khan! He bought a suit for me. Remember? Mr. Khan. Yes, I remember him. Yes, I delivered the suit to his hotel. The Hotel Ubu. Uh, I uh, don't remember the room number. That's convenient. It was upstairs. The second room on the right-hand side of the corridor. Thanks, Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Now I've got you, Mr. Clown. We've got Khan! But at least um, uh, detective is in the house. Sergeant Moo. find out. Ah, Monsieur Stobart, ah, it's me. That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our General. crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so let's is Rosso here? Yes, he here. is. You wish to speak to him? Are we? Yes, I do. One moment, Monsieur. One moment, monsieur. It's Stobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. Very well. Okay, here he comes. In all of his pixelated glory. <laughs> Which is always a fun thing to have, right? Hi, Inspector. Remember me? Hi. But of course, Mr. Stobart. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental classification system that's the envy of the Bibliothèque Nationale. Mm -hmm. No tricks, mark you, monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through inactivity, so our minds decay. But there is no need. Okay. If only people would learn to exercise their wits daily. If he was trying to impress me, it worked. He was pompous and patronizing, but he had style. Eh bien, if you've called about the bombing, you're too late. Far too Investigations late. have been closed, but I have been taken off the case. What about the murder, the dead guy? Who knows? It is out of my hands. Oh, well, well, that went well. Did you find out the ID of the guy who was killed in the explosion? I already knew who he was. How? I heard that the bomb victim's name was Plantown. Your sources are reliable. He was a big shot of the treasury, wasn't he? Maybe that's why you've been taken off the case. Quite possibly. I'm sorry, monsieur. I cannot comment. Ooh, okay. What about... Khan? Don't you want to know what I found out about the killer? <laughs> I told you, monsieur. The case is closed. I have washed my hands of the whole affair. Then I'll have to continue my investigations without your help. No. You must forget the business of the clown completely. Go back to being an ordinary tourist, Stobard. Well, that told me I'm going to go back to the Americas and open up a farm. So long, Inspector. Leave it at that. I'll be fine. Hello, Moo. Uh, nap script. See you later, Sergeant. I don't think I need to speak to them about anything else. So, um, but what's this? We've got, new, we've got a new point. Oh, yeah. The Hotel Ubu. Hey, who are these guys? Pull a card. Hey, Squish. Are you pulling a card? An oracle card, you say? Well, give me two secs and I'll go grab them. And we can actually get an oracle card going. This has been a, been a hot minute since we did one of those. So give me two secs and I'll be right back. Okay, maybe it was about a second. But I had it all right there. So we are good. How is it going, my love? I hope that you are. Having a fabulous evening. Right, so, seeing as it's the first one in a while, probably should give the deck a quick shuffle. 
you know, because as I said, it's been a while. And the last one I did, I believe, was for Charlie. Actually, it was the last one he pulled an Oracle card. So it's actually nice to get those out. So let's give it a quick shuffle. Right, so I am gonna shuffle up the pack, and then when you let me know, I shall pull that card and see what comes up. Surprisingly difficult to shuffle these guys. So, let me know, and a very fab evening. That is good. I like fab evenings. Fab even evenings are wonderful. So, I'm gonna shoot me the card, and then when I see your next message to say now, uh, I will pull that card. Go on. So then I can make sure I get the right one. So let me know. Let me know. Just putting the energies in, making sure I get the connection. Thinking of you, thinking of you to make sure that it comes out right. And just wait for that next message to come. And that one. Okay. Ooh. So we have number 19, the Mother of Mercy. So let's have a little look in the book and see what comes out of it. Hopefully it'll be something wonderful and beautiful. So I've got my little book. So we're going to look it up. And we're going to find number 19. So we've got the Mother of Mercy. Let, let me read it out to you guys, then you can actually um, hear it. Just like the sun that shines brightly, casting a strong shadow, your growing spiritual power needs to be expressed with the awareness that it will have an effect on others, even if you are not completely conscious of that effect. To create peace in the expression of your power, we call upon the Mother of Mercy. Mercy tempers great strength and power with kindness, gentleness, compassion and caring. The divine Kula um, Kung Ying brings the quality of mercy to you now as a divine gift, encouraging you to cultivate mercy in your dealings with others and to receive it for yourself now too. Um, uh, dependency on mercy comes when we are without recourse. We have perhaps lost our way become unable to find our way through or have caused gr um, some great effort for better or worse that we did not intend it might even be through our own hand that we have caused such a situation without intention or malice we just produce in um, proceed in a certain way because we have not yet learned the wisdom needed to avoid it or perhaps our own guidance led us into a, into darkness consciously so that we could learn something valuable and we are a bit stuck. We may have perhaps been causing harm to others through our own unconsciousness. We could be suffering from a heavy karmic lesson from this or another lifetime and our soul may be struggling to really integrate that lesson and feel free to rise up and move on. Perhaps we are in a situation with another where we might hold great power. It might be a parent, a teacher, a healer or a boss. It might even be a less obvious uh, position of power where we can take advantage of others' care for us to ensure that we what we want. These situations call for the quality of divine mercy. Divine mercy from the Heavenly Mother brings us to a place where we can stop the cycle of manipulation or being manipulated or, um, of unkindness or unconsciousness. To pray for mercy is a powerful prayer. Kai, uh, Kai Ying drops nectar of mercy from the ivory vase into the hearts of those that, we, that call to her. If you are in a situation on either side of the story, whether you feel powerful or disempowered, where there is manipulation, fear, struggle, hurting or suffering, call upon the Mother of Mercy now. 
you are, uh, you are guided by the oracle to accept the spiritual gifts to you, even if the situation doesn't seem too dramatic. Fortunality, fortunality enough. For oh, fortunately enough, her gift will a abate any karmic el escalation and prevention and prevent the situation from becoming any worse. It will even help to undo the negative effects of what has already unfolded. The spiritual assistance is offered to hu um, human humanity for a place of loving respect, kindness, and great spiritual power. Blessed to Kai Yun, Mother of Mercy, who watches over us with atten uh, attention, love, and care for our spiritual progress. So there we go. So that was indeed the Mother of Mercy. I'll give you another pic, uh, image, of, oh, a view of the picture again, so you can see it for yourself. Very beautiful image. I really do like that one. So uh, as usual, um, I will uh, put a post with a photo of um, the message and the card itself. So I will throw that up on the Discord. So I, um, I will put that in there and tag you in it, of course. And yeah, guys, look, I, I, I've been doing a lot of sort of new ones. I'm going to be soon bringing these guys in. Uh, these are um, a set of runes that um, I got um, given a little while ago. So uh, I've just started picking up again. I was looking into um, I Ching recently, uh, which is the Chinese, uh, or sorry, Japanese uh, version of the sort of uh, divinity and looking into potentially seeing how that works out. So hopefully that was nice of you. So thank you so much, uh, Elves, for the uh, request of the card. Hopefully it rung true to you and made some sense, uh, gave some guidance. So, yeah, I hope you liked it. Mwah. Sending extra love and energy to your ways. So, it will come. It will come. Ah. But yes, thank you so much, guys, uh, for taking that time. And I hope you appreciated it. It's always nice to get a little bit of woo going in, because sometimes a bit of woo can go a long way. And yeah, it's always nice to just detach let yourself think through things and yeah see see where it goes so yeah let's get back into the game and yeah uh i see the chalice of white ivory it is nice i like that uh in the pic that is not hallucinating <laughs> uh we live but i still got you lurked oh we're live but i'm sorry you lurked. cheers very much for that charlie i always appreciate a lurk a good lurk is always fun and yeah thank you so much and i'm uh, i'm happy you're not hallucinating over it would suck if you did or maybe it would just be nice. So I'm happy that you liked it. It's a very pretty image. Definitely a pretty image. And you are more than welcome. So sending lots of love and good energies and healing your way. Because, yeah, because I can. And I love. Love, 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 love. Love so much. Mwah. Anyways, let's get back into this crazy world and see where this goes. So where are we at? We are at the Hotel de, Ch de Chuli Immum. So we've got some gangsters on the outside. Because you've got to admit, these are gangsters. These are clearly gangsters. We'll see where this goes. Let's, let's have a word with them. Say Excuse hello. me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I actually want to speak to these guys much. Do you recognize this tissue? Think carefully now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to have to hurry you. Ooh. Eh, time's up, so I'll tell you. It's a used tissue with a liberal dump of Bestheimer's number 12. If you say so. Wow, that went well. Um, I don't really want to talk to them. I'm worried that they're going to kill me. So, um... See you later. Not if you see me first. Okay, that went well. Uh, I remember this last. She was really nice. I think, if I remember correctly. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. Hello. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me, my dear. For one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. Aren't you going to tell me your name? George. George Stobart, ma'am. How sweet! I once had a stable boy called George. George I am Lady Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not obligatory. A real lady? I mean, you're an honest-to-God aristocrat? Oh, I don't know about that. Few of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. 
I can trace my family back to the Normans, but don't let that intimidate you, George. Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just flesh and blood. The blood may be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England, so to speak. You appear distracted, George. Is there any way I can help you? The blood may be blue, but the body is full prime English beef. You gotta love that. You've got to love it. Uh, let's let's find out more about her. Stobarts. Is that your real name? Are you here in Paris on vacation? No, darling. I'm on holiday. I needed to get away after Algie's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. <laughs> You got love. You got love the jokes and the sense of humor in these games. Like they are, they are tons of fun, tons and tons of fun. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go for the gangsters. See what she's got to say about the gangsters. Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket. I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. No, they're just happy to see you, my lady. I'm looking for a murderer. Good heavens! You're a private detective. Maybe. That's correct, ma'am. What's the term you Americans use? It's on the tip of my tongue. I believe what you're thinking of is Dick. Precisely. <laughs> Have you come across a man who calls himself way. Khan? I am familiar with only one person named Khan. Genghis Khan, the legendary Mongol barbarian chieftain? No, darling. Kevin. Kevin Khan? I never heard of him. I'd be most surprised if you had, darling. He's a pharmacist in Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> Organizes fundraising for the Rotarians. <laughs> Lovely man. Does he have a scar on his cheek? I really wouldn't know, sweetie. I'm loving this innuendo. I am really, really loving this innuendo. I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. The world romance oh, is just Paris. what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton ship. I must say I was disappointed with his cock van. Not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Hemel Hempstead. Head back that to Hemel. That was until last night. Ooh, what happened last night? What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. It was just oh. as I'd always imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight, romantic music tinkling across the room, and then a stranger's glance, those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those tight trousers. He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. <laughs> I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. <laughs> ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affection. Bastard. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. <laughs> wow. That got hot and hard very quickly. Who was the guy who led you on? <laughs> His name is Merlin. Merlin? I wonder who Merlin could be. I wonder if it's this guy. What do you think? Do you think so? With that beard? Let's have a word. Let's say hello. Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Yes, that is me, in person. In person. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. It's impressive facial hair, though. You've got to give it to him. It takes a lot of work to get that down, grow that out. Losing a bit on top, but, you know, it takes one to know one, right? What can we do in this one? She plays beautifully, though. Guess they, they have good piano lessons in Hemel Hempstead. Do you know a guy called Plantow? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, well, this guy's dead anyhow. Why do you ask me about dead men? 
I have seen enough of death to last me a Ready. lifetime. Ready? I'm not uh, at the end of the spell. Sure you have. Have you seen a clown? I beg your pardon? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My no. pants are from Inklot. Marx and Spencer. Yay. They are a pleasure Scott and a comfort out. to wear with much support. I'm real glad to hear that. Good support. You know, you it's good, good to know prizes. you Nobel Prize winners are human too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For everything. <laughs> Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. Yeah, I can, I can survive with that. Um, let's ask him some questions and see what goes. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this man. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. Ooh, so what do you know about Khan? What's your interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. You know he's oh. a killer? Of course. Amongst Long other things. Chat. Oh well, it happens. Hopefully it comes through to me pretty quickly. We gotta see where this goes. Would you help me investigate Khan? That is not possible. My instructions are to observe. I cannot jeopardize my position as an honored guest of this country's government. Ooh. Okay, so he's not going to help us. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Maybe I should find out if Merlin is the guy. So let, let me let me go ask the lady, the Duchess. Hi, ma'am. Let's see where this goes. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Hello, George. I like her. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? My God, it's him. That's Merlin. Hey. She represented Merlin everything one. I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. <laughs> Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no. Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. He's the man I've been telling you about. Mm -hmm. That's the man who spurned me. Ah, gosh. What are we going to do? Oh. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, Mr. Stover. Shocked, tell you, shocked. shocked. I took him to be a gentleman, a man of honor. Do you know, I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. Mm -hmm. Should we stitch him up? When did you last see stitch Merlin? What, though? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk, Chappie. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. She's quite a receptive. briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Oh, so Merlin's not in the hotel. She's going to raid his cupboard, room, drawer. Are that you happened. sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling, positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yes. Yeah. Great importance. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. Well, we should find out. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. Okay, so we've got our next session of things we need to do. I guess first things first, we should talk to the concierge. If there is one. Is there one? Yeah, there he is. Uh, okay. I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a private investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. Indeed. When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home, no? No. Do you have a guest by the name of Khan? No, monsieur. Perhaps you would care to check the register. Uh, <laughs> I don't have an option checking the register. But... The man who calls himself Khan has a scar on his right cheek. Vraiment? I tell you, I do not know a man named Khan. Maybe not, but I noticed a change in his expression when I mentioned the scar. Ooh. Look at him being very perceptive. I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah, oui, monsieur. May I see some form of identification? identification? Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation, Scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. <laughs> I must have some form of unique ID. 
You won't find a more unique ID than my scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. I can appreciate that and right. understand it. Uh, right, so we... Do you know a man named Planta? He's the no, see if he's got any ID. So no Planta, no Mr. Khan. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This guy. is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. You sure if you say that? so. <laughs> okay, right. Um, try a few things. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. That's what name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. It's Merlin, isn't it? Alias Khan, the clown. I told you, I cannot tell He's you not that. Be much help. He's he put up a good, good full, full fast, fast. Yeah. Okay, so. Excuse him, one monsieur. Nope, we can't grab the key. What? I was expecting you were that. trying to steal that key. No. No, no. way. <laughs> no way. Scar tissue. <laughs> that I wish you saw. Well, give it a try. Right, can we go upstairs? Oh, we can go upstairs. The door was locked. Surprised? Not. If the tailor's description was correct, this was the killer's room. The sign on the door read 22. The door was locked. No surprise there. Okay, so we're not going to have any luck here as of yet. So, I'm thinking we need to go... Maybe we'll ask the Duchess if she can assist us in this, um... Oh, can we use the phone? No, we can't. Okay, let's just go and talk to the Duchess and see what's going on there. There was an alleyway down Hi, inside, outside, so we... Hello, George! What there. can I do for you now? Um, no, we don't have any options. So... Let's go this way. Just a minute, monsieur. What's your problem? Ooh. No problem. If you cooperate. What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flap. You bet. Wow. Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. Wow. Nothing, Guido. Zilch. Our apologies, monsieur. Let's what? See this goes. I had to report you to the authorities. Randir, we are the authorities. Ooh. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, Flat. <sighs> Appreciations for the drink there, Squiddy One. I hope that this is getting going, going well. Right, let's have a little look up the alleyway. I have a feeling if they're going to search us every time, then we need to lob it out the window, maybe? So there's nothing of any use here, that I can see. We definitely ain't climbing up anything, that's for sure. Okay, so nothing down the back alley. So wh what can we do? We need to go and see if we get some more information. So let's speak to the, the lass and go through our Hi, ma'am. Hello, George, what can I do for you now? Blowjob. Oh. That gangster I told you about? He went through my pockets just now. Good heavens! One never knows what to expect in foreign parts. Ooh. Thank you for the warning, young man. I shall hide my credit cards in my underwear. Ooh. Fast air. Did I show you this photograph? Yes, darling. Okay. Go for the nose. Do you know what this is? Oh, no, yes. Uh, I think it was a clown's thing. nose. That's right. It was worn as well, disguised by a vicious or killer. Shower? Ah, uh, Mr. Merlin, perchance. That's him. Oh, thank you for the luck. Does this tissue it's mean anything to you? Good. I'm no shrinking violet, but that object makes me feel quite queasy. Ooh. Uh, no, let's not do that. Tyler. Can you think of any use for this tool, ma'am? Oh, I can think of someone I'd like to use it on. King hair. And I just couldn't bring myself to use the buzzer on this dear lady. Yes, good. Okay, right, so nothing more from her. Let's go talk to the Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable European Hello again. state. Um, this is a photo of Khan, right? That is just one 
of the names by which he is known. Okay. That now is what does this clown's nose suggest to you? In my country, we have no use for clowns. I'm glad to hear it. They were dealt with most severely in the last cultural cleansing. <laughs> what about the wow. mimes? Did you dark. get them too? All gone. Our streets are mime free. Sounds like heaven. Sounds like heaven. Hey, called it. I love it when that comes together, right? Oh, God, add another mark for that one, why not? Uh, tissue? Does this goo smeared tissue mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. May I shake you by the hand? I do not shake the hands of imperialist dogs. Wow. Now that's a real bad attitude problem you've got there. Okay, and the tool is the Have last you one. any idea what this tool might be used for? I cannot guess. Would it mean anything if I told you it was for lifting drain covers? Such technology fills me with wonder. Wow. Okay, so that got us nowhere. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Um, I can't do anything else while I'm in here. So let's have a little word with the concierge. Again. There was no one registered under the name of Khan, but the name in the book for room 22 was Merlin. Merlin? What now, monsieur? It's fine now. I've just been manhandled by a gorilla. Yes? I do not see any signs of a gorilla. No, not a real gorilla. It was a guy who looked like a gorilla. It happened right out front of this building. Let me get this quite clear. Are you complaining or bragging? I want to know what you're going to do about it. The scrawny one has a gun. I suggest you contact the police. Can't you do anything about them? What goes on in the streets of Paris is hardly my responsibility. Hey, another drink. Thank you, man. My request sign is getting all filled up. That's why I didn't see it. So, check posture, drink, fill a card, drink, and another drink. So, thank you very much for that. I'm drinking it now. Good old drinkage. Just let me all tab back into the game again. Because this game doesn't let me do it any other way. Um, right, so, let's... Aren't you concerned that your guests are being intimidated by gangsters? No one else has complained, monsieur. Did they steal anything from you? No. Well, no. They didn't find what they were looking for. What was that? I don't know. I don't think they did either. Okay. About the key hanging on the hook over there. Oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. I'd like to check into room 21. Oh, okay. That is not possible. Why not? How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. Rats. No, monsieur. Dutch. Oh, not very nice on the Dutch. I believe Khan, the man with the scar, is also known as Merlin, the man who has taken room 22. What of it? What do you want? Access to his room. Do you have a license, monsieur? Huh? A private investigator's license? Well, not exactly, but I can explain everything. I am sorry, but without credentials, I cannot help. I insist you right, give me the so key to Merlin's room. to try room. to get into that. I them. cannot do that, monsieur. This guy Merlin is a menace. menace so to you society. say, monsieur. He's not only a hurt? danger to society but to your guests as well. He has toyed with the affections of Lady Piermont. <gasps> Are there no depths to which he will not sink? Precisely. He's already killed once, twice, maybe as many as three times. With your help, I just might be able to stop him. Maybe but what if he finds out I have helped you? No, and then murders me. I cannot do it. Okay, so that's Do you recognize this exhausted? red nose? No, monsieur. Nope. Uh, some grease paint. What do you make of this tissue? Do you wish me to dispose of it for you, monsieur? Hey, no. It could be useful. I'm holding on to this. Wow. Okay, cool. As you wish, monsieur. Perhaps you would like a little plastic baggie to keep it in? Nah, it's fine the way it is. <laughs> I love how they just reference these kind of things that people just walk around with this random shit in their pockets. I love adventure games, they're so stupid. 
but wonderful. Hey, shake my hand. I'd rather not, monsieur. I'm still sore from the shock administered by one of the guests. He was secretly concealing an electrical device in the palm of his hand. Wow. Practical jokes are so puerile, don't you think? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, not the not least, Taiwan. What do you make of this tool? Taiwan, it's not Taiwan, it's a man called Stunning, Taiwan. monsieur. I bet you handle it like a professional. Ooh. Is he flirting with me? I think he might be. Okay, so we can't do that, we can't do that. Let's... I have a feeling our little madame over here will be able to help us with something. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Hello. We need to get Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Oh, no. It's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scared for not? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? Hey. It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Now tell me, why do you want licked to get into way. that room? It's next to the room the killer is using. Ah, so you plan to eavesdrop on Merlin? I was hoping there might be a connecting door. Well, how can I refuse? I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case, but a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. Hey! Let's get the English arrogance going off. Where's she gonna go? I see! You there! Lucky! Lucky. We, oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madam. See where this goes. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madam. Bien sûr. Well, wow, that is quite a mint going on there. Uh Over to you, George. That was very quick. Right, so we're going to go into here. The door was locked. Because you didn't use the key, damn you. Use the key. The key, the key, the key. Uh, maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. Hey, did it. Right, so let's have a little look in the closet. Just to make sure Michael Jackson isn't in there. There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. Camphor? What is camphor? I do not know. Right, so. I have a feeling we're going to need to get in the window. Or out the window, shall I say. The cabinet was empty, but it smelt of onions. No kidding, it really did. Onions? Why onions? Camphor? Oh, isn't camphor wood? Isn't that a thing? Camphor wood? Well, there's onions in the cupboard or in the bedside table. Oh, yep, we've opened the window. Let's see if we can climb out of it. Yee. Oh, this isn't scary at all, is it? Ah. Ah. Yee, I can't take screenshots in here. This is good. Oh, he's left his window open. Result. Look at us. Look at us. Not breaking, but entering. Okay, we've made it into the room. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna check the pillow because that's where things are. The bed was freshly made and the crisp white sheets told me nothing about the killer's habits. Okay, that goes mm. far. Oh, we do have a briefcase. It was the battered leather briefcase I'd seen Plantar carrying just before he died. Well, I searched evidence. the interior of the briefcase, but as I'd half expected, it was empty. It was empty. I hate it when there's an empty briefcase. Right. Um, check the wardrobe. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we closed it again. Damn it. Come on. 
There's something in there. Stop closing it. Grab the bloody thing. Gah. Gosh. The closet was a solid, impressive piece of antique furniture. Okay. The closet was a solid, impressive piece of antique furniture. Okay, you've said that twice now. I can see that there's supposed to be two things there. The closet was a solid, impressive I piece of antique of furniture. Because right, look, if I go down, go back up, there's two things. The closet was a solid, impressive piece of antique furniture. Oh, that's not helpful. Okay. There's definitely something in there. I can see there's something in there. You can see there's something in there. The assassin had been too smart to leave incriminating evidence beside his bed. Okay, so what are we missing? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. I can't see anything else in this room. There's definitely something else there. The closet was a solid... The closet was a solid, impressive... Ah, uh, gosh. There's nothing in here. The cabinet had no drawers, just a single door. The assassin had been too... Okay, this isn't very much helping. The closet was... Let's see if that actually does anything. I don't know if I've clicked on the right thing or not. Okay, so we're in the room. There's nothing here to really look at. The bed was several times larger than the narrow cot I'd been given at the place I was staying. All right, so I can open the door. But when I click the on closet the other one, was a... it's not doing anything. The closet was a solid, impressive... Come on, there must be something... The closet was a solid. The closet. The closet. The closet. This isn't the working very well. It was calm. I had the kind of feeling in my stomach that would usually send me running to the bathroom. Get in the closet. I hate it when you got to trigger things like this. Ooh. As Khan opened the wardrobe, I was sure I was dead. But he grabbed his pants quickly and didn't even see me. I didn't usually spy on men getting changed. <laughs> well, is that this one? guy was a killer, and I didn't want any surprises. He left his checkered pants on the bed. Now he's going to sneak off. How on earth did he not see me? It's scary. I had that kind of feeling you only get from searching still warm pants. There was nothing in the pocket. But there was a tear at the top. A strip along the side seam of the pants had been unpicked, then sewn back up with strong thread and a special stitch. A strip along the side, then sewn back up with strong thread and a special stitch. Okay. It's also mucky as hell. What's the pocket the was empty. There was nothing in the pocket. I wondered if the guy was colorblind. Okay, so there's a stitch. I ah. flipped the pants over. Okay, we can do that. Oops. I found an ordinary matchbook. No matches, no clues. But as I pulled it from the pocket, a strong thread came with it. A thread with a metal tag on the end. I found nothing in the pocket. Okay. Uh, what's over there? I pulled on the metal tag and the thread came out of the pants. It was like pulling out a rip cord. I turned the pants over again. Pocket was open. The pocket is open. I searched the pocket gingerly and found a pass card. It read Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. Okay, so that's that done. Okay, um, I think that's all we're going to get from the pants, but at least now we've got the 
identification card, which is odd. Okay, so let's get out of here. And back in the other side. Go on, go back. And let's hide in room number 21. down again. Let's speak to the concierge. Let's give him the Gruber electronics. What now, monsieur? Does this pass mean anything to you? That is Monsieur Merlin's property. That's right. Merlin the murderer. I want to see what he's left in your safe. Impossible. I cannot betray his confidence. Nope. No matter what you say he's done. You're making a big mistake. Maybe I can live with that. A murderer? Are you sure? Right, we have some reaction there. Um. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No, monsieur. That's helpful. Okay, right. So let's have a little look at the matchbook. The matchbook bore a pattern of swirling color and the words Club Alamut. Okay. It was the card I'd found in the hotel bedroom. We gotta get somewhere now. It read, Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. Okay, so that's not really as far. It was a key ring bearing one large brass key and a tag which read, Hot Hotel Ubu. Ubu. Right, so, uh, let's have a little word with the, the guy with the paper and the amazing Hello again. Hair. Right, so let's have a little look. Do you recognize this card? No, I do not. Okay, that was quick. Does the name on this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Indeed it does. For Alamut was the home of the old man of the mountains. Ugh, my feet have gone to you sleep. You do not know him? No, I don't. The man of the old mountains. Do you recognize this key? No, I do not. Okay, that's not helped. This is a fo that is just one of the. Right, so we've already done. We've exhausted Thanks for your help. Stuff. Goodbye. Let's have a little look and let's have a speak with the madame. See what she's got to say. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? It makes me smile every time she says hello. I found this pass in Merlin's room. So. That deceitful little man is passing himself off as an electrician, is he? Is he now? Uh-huh. This guy probably has a million faces. And Jinx has come up to say hello. Ah, there we go. Come on. Blop, blop. So I got a kitty cat. Keep me company. Kitty, kitty, kitty cat. Kitty cat. Um, matchbook. I found this matchbook in Merlin's oh, bedroom. Oh, pins and needles. It oh. came from the club Alamut. Oh. It Ow, might be useful to find out if that club is in Paris, George. Did I show you this photograph? Yes. Yeah, okay. Home this is the key to room key. 21. Yeah. That's okay. next to the room taken by that rotten Merlin. Yes. Really? How? Maybe it was my imagination, but I had an uncomfortable feeling about this situation. Uh, yeah. What? She helped me I get it. I showed the pass to the clerk, hoping he'd give me Merlin's papers, but he wouldn't buy it. He's too scared. I'll give him something to be scared of. Follow me, George. Follow me, George. What's she gonna do this time? She wipes her nose and then takes her top off a bit. Did you place a package from Merlin in the hotel safe? I did, madame. And did my friend here show you Merlin's identification? Indeed he did, but... What's the problem? He isn't Merlin. A mere academic detail. Give him the package. But Give him the package. that is against the law. I happen to be a justice of the peace, you silly man. I am the law. Ooh. If he tries anything, shoot him, George. My pleasure, Lady Piermont. One moment, please. Shh, shh, shh. That went well. You know, I haven't enjoyed myself this much since Greenham Common. <laughs> what I don't Greenham know what Common? I would have done without you, Lady Piermont. Voila, Monsieur. Le manuscrit de Monsieur Merlin. Thanks. How satisfying. An Anglia-American alliance that actually worked. 
The clerk had given me a tightly rolled sheet of parchment. I decided not to unroll it until I was safely back in Nico's apartment. Well, I can't go outside. Because they will find me. And we don't want that, do we? We don't want to get caught out. So I am thinking that we need to toss it out of the toss it out of the window and then go pick it up afterwards. I knew this was no way to treat an ancient manuscript, but I couldn't let it fall into the hands of the goons waiting outside. Hey, look at me being all clever and working stuff out before I need to. Whee! Don't go in the drain. There we go. Okay, back out. Back out the other side. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Now, let's go out there. And... Do we give the key back? I don't know. I guess there's only one way of finding out, right? He's going to lose his key. Oh, Hold it right escape. there. Search him again, Flat. Search him again. <laughs> Nothing, Guido. Okay, let him go. Hey, I outsmarted the goons. You didn't even know that was coming, did you? I'm so clever, I'm so smart. If the I'm manuscript so clever, was so what Clapp and Guido were after, they were going to be disappointed. I couldn't wait to get back to Nico's apartment and check it out. Hey, let's go do it. Back in Nico's apartment. We find ourselves back Hi, here. how are you? Oh, hi. Come in, Josh. Right, so let's go. What are you doing to help trace the killer clown? Research, Josh. Yeah? You have a copy of the clown's yearbook? I have a telephone and lots of contacts. Oh, well, did you find anything useful? Not yet. I'm employing my first and most useful weapon. What's that? Patience. Oh, I've heard of that. Isn't it a substitute for decisive thinking? Uh, potentially. Right, sorry, I'm just trying to sort of work this out, because for some reason, it's not going. I don't know. Is the music coming out? I generally don't know yet. Ah, uh, yeah, it is there. It is very quiet. Very, very quiet indeed. Right, so a bit more Do you have a boyfriend? Her. Not anymore. There was someone. A guy in my final year, but it didn't work out. Oh, no. Neither did my degree. I'm sorry. I'm not. Uh, okay, a bit more information. Tell me more about your family. When I was a little girl, I used to spend the winter with my grandfather and grandma. They were the best times. Aww. Warm and safe in their tiny cottage. My grandfather rolled cigarettes while grandma made hot chocolate and cake. Ooh, One day, he stopped his groaning. He put the lid back on his tobacco jar and took me in his arms. I laughed and wriggled, but he hushed me to be silent. Shh. With his unshaven chin all scratchy in my ear, he told me his secret. What did he say? He said, I don't smoke, but she likes to think I do. What a weird old man. Don't call my grandfather weird. He was the nicest guy ever. <laughs> I wish I was back in that cottage instead of this crummy apartment in this noisy city. Oh, yeah, it looks terrible. It looks absolutely awful. I don't know how you can stay there. Fucking hell, it's like 17 times the size of my place. I'd happily take that off your hands. I found this matchbook in the killer's hotel room. Ooh. It's from the Club Alamut. Never heard of it. Is there anything written inside it? No. What were you expecting? If this was a movie, there'd be a clue. A name or an address. That's no use. There aren't even any matches in it. Oh, well. I'll keep it as a souvenir. Why not? I found this in the killer's room. Good to have some not match matches. What is it? A credit card? ID. Thomas Merlin of the Gruber Electronics Corporation. Gruber. Never heard of him or the company. Oh, have you told me it's calm? You're just not going to believe what I found. It's not another part of the clown's costume, is it? Blop. It's a medieval manuscript. Khan left it in the safe at the Ubu. It's incredible. Is this what he took from Plantar? It could be, which know. means find out. it's worth enough to kill for. Look there, two guys on the same horse. Oh, yeah. 
Maybe they couldn't afford one each. They're what expensive. of it? Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? Their official seal was an image of two knights sharing a horse. The knights that say Whatever this me. manuscript means, it's connected with the Templars. How come you know about these knights? I learned about them while writing an article on the Crusades. Okay. This guy, named Hughes de Payen, arrived one day at the court of King of Jerusalem. He offered to protect the Christian pilgrims from the displaced Muslim army. The king would be able to guarantee safe transit to Christians in the Holy Land. Mm. Safer journeys meant more pilgrims, and pilgrims meant trade and wealth. The Templars proved invaluable to the king as a mercenary army. It was said that they never asked how many the enemy numbered, just where they were. And as the years went by, the Templars grew in wealth and number. They were so rich. Even kings came to them for loans. But at the height of their power, they fell foul of the King of France. Oh. He rounded them up and turned them over to the Inquisition. Thousands of Templars were subject to torture and confessed to heresy. Oh, no. Of course, at the end of the Inquisition, there wasn't much they wouldn't confess to. The last Grand Master Jacques de Molay was burned alive. Jeez. That was quite a so the treasure is there. hidden, waiting to be discovered? If there ever was a treasure, it's been lost for 600 years. 600 anyway, years? We're supposed to be investigating a serial killer, not a medieval treasure trove. But maybe that's what the clown and his accomplices are after. Maybe this manuscript is the key. Possibly. You'd better the leave key. it here for safekeeping. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Why not? That's where we've got... There's a guy with a sword and a bull. The only mythological bull I know of is the Minotaur, but it's he was only half bull. I don't think I'd like to be half a bull, even if it was the bottom half. What's that object between them? It looks like a gem on top of a tripod. It does look like a gem on top of a tripod, if I'm honest. I, that is a good explanation of what I was seeing. Then we've got a guy we're weaving a thing. There's a guy working on a loom. He's weaving a carpet or a tapestry. Or a duvet cover. It's a clue to a place, I reckon. Somewhere famed for weaving and ships. Where folk live in barrels? It beats copper boxes. True, true. Uh, then we got next A stage. knight with a crystal ball. Now, there's something written on the scroll beside the knight. Yes, but it's written in Latin. Per disciplinum mea lux. Videbis. By my teachings, you will see the light. Well, you speak Latin. Where did you learn a trick like that? A trick? I studied law, okay? I can read Latin. Ma, That's you're handy. touchy. Tell me that again. What, that you're touchy? I don't know. And we've got a woman with a mirror. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection three has faces. three hideous faces. She reminds me of the Wicked Queen in Snow White. Maleficent. She was the one who said mirror, mirror on the wall, wasn't she? She made me cry so much when I was a kid, Mom carried me out of the movie theater. She didn't frighten me in the least. Like I said, I was only a kid. I didn't like the crocodile in Peter Pan either. <laughs> okay, so that's covering that. Then we've got two guys with trumpets on either side. And Look at there, know. two guys on the same horse. Let's face it, we need help, George. Someone who help. knows about these things. But who, who do you suggest? Be? Indiana Jones? I know a guy who specializes in medieval studies. His name is Lobino. Huh. Lobino. Some stuffy old fossil who gets horny over ancient relics, I suppose. Far from it. Andre isn't the stereotypical professor you have in mind. Where can I find this Lobino guy? At the Krun Museum. I'll give you the address. So we're going to the Creme Museum next, by the looks of things, and let's see where this ends up. So, um... Let's take another look. No, we don't need to look at the manuscript again. We've already done that. We've already done it. I don't need to look at it anymore. There's a guy with a... Between... Have I really got to click through all of these guys again? A knight with a knight scroll. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. Oh. Yeah, you'll be enlightened, sorry. Oh, There's a woman, but the... Okay. Really, I had to go through all of that. I have to go. <laughs> all of okay. that just to come out of it again. Don't forget to look for Lobby no at the... I probably should have waited to actually hear that. 
So where's Lobino? Uh, Museum Crud. The Crud Museum. Okay, let's go into the Crud Museum. And there's a tripod. Don't touch it though. In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. It was identical to the tripod pictured on the manuscript. A notice identified it as 15th century from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marne at the site of a Knights Templar preceptory. Ooh. Ireland! What's that? This tripod was found in Ireland. I Ireland. will have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. Right, so what have we got? Okay, so we've got security wandering around. We've got what looks like it opens the window. Um, and I think I remember this puzzle. Yep. This is ridiculous. I could be here for hours. No. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur. How do we, monsieur? So, that's part of it. Are you Lobino? Oh, no. Fancy you mistaking me for him. Oh, no. no. I am the deputy happen. custodian. But Lobino does work here. Work? I would then go so far as to call it the he studies here most days, but as you can see for yourself, not today. Not today. Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, monsieur. It's infamous. infamous. That tripod? That belonged to John D. John D? What's the importance of John D's tripod? D was the most famous escapologist of the 16th century. The Udini of his time. Don't you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. <laughs> well, whatever he was, that is the tripod he used in his experiments. Let's see what what kind of experiments did John D. perform with his tripod? Oh, the usual. Didn't you study chemistry at school? Yeah, but we skipped over thaumatology. Thaumatology? Good word. Can I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case? Oh, uh, no. That tripod is protected by a sophisticated surveillance system. How sophisticated? A painfully loud alarm bell. Ooh. How is the alarm bell triggered? By the slightest pressure on or movement of any part of the case wherein that tripod is situated. It strikes me that to call your alarm system sophisticated is, stretching well, it. stretching Definitely. the truth a little. Definitely stretching it has a wee bit. never failed yet. The sophistication is in its simplicity. Ooh. Okay, cool. Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me for one. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park the... No, no, no! They assume I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas Should you they? know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is, I am no scholar. No not scholar. like Monsieur Lobino. Okay. Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. Mm, the sign on the sausage. tripod says it I'm was found now. at a Templar preceptor. craving for it a does, kebab. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mention John D at all. Really, Most really fancy a kebab now. You don't know anything about the tripod, do you? No, I don't. I never had much of a start in life, you see. Oh, I owe a little education again to my uncle. He was an optician, but he also doubled as the village school teacher. He taught me the alphabet. Wait, 19 letters of it. The bottom row of the chart was uh, too small even for him to read. So he left them out. Why don't you start over no. and enroll for adult education? You know, I never thought of that. Do you think if I studied art and did all my homework, I could be a professor of history? Why not? At your age? 
dream on. Wow, that went well, didn't it? Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? Oh no, I don't frequent places like that. So you have heard of it? Do you recognize this ID pass? No. Okay, that was simple. Um, Do you recognize guy? the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. Goes. Is there any reason why I should? I guess not. Uh, okay, I'm um, gonna go for Do the you nose. recognize this red nose? I don't think so. No. No red nose, dirty tissue. What do you make of this tissue? It is absolutely disgusting, disgusting monsieur. monsieur. Um, what is this tool? That belongs in a museum. Pardon? It is a priceless historical artifact, I, if I am not mistaken. mistaken. You're mistaken. No, it's a plain old tool for lifting drain covers. Would you like to shake my hand? Uh, not while I'm on duty, monsieur. Okay, so that is everything Thanks from there. Thanks for your help. Watch out! You'll have that done on top of us! We well, wouldn't want that to happen, that would we? I'm gonna get moan up for everything. As I reached toward the display case, a shrill piping filled the air. It worked. I froze, then tried to get myself together and act nonchalantly. No, monsieur. No, eh, no. Okay, no, okay. No. Okay, so I've done everything in the room. Is it time to open the window? And then go and hide in the sarcophagus. I don't know, I guess we're going to find out soon enough. Well, he is walking over to there. Go on. Do it. Do it. Hide. This is ridiculous. I could be here for hours. Nope. It is not ready yet. There's something I'm missing, yeah? So I can't touch that. Okay, let's go outside. Why give me this entranceway? Okay, so we're not at the museum. We got the police, we got Nico's apartment, and we've got the cafe. Should we give it a knock, see what's going on here? I don't think this is going to go far, but he has a he hasn't moved since we last saw him, and God knows Hi there, where remember was. me? Ah, and may we, Inspector? Have you found him? We are close. Who? The man in the sewer, of course. I'm uh, sifting through the evidence. Ah, uh, rather you than me, Monsieur. So, uh, uh, when you are not uh, exploring sewers, uh, what do you do? Tap I take a lot of showers. Oh, 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 very good, monsieur. <laughs> very funny. It's very, very funny. man with a sense of humor. Nothing else? No. Nope. Is it worth going down in the sewer again? There's not going to be anything in here, is there? Do -do -do. No, but then again, why would there be? Why would it have changed? Look in the bin. Look in the bin. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Sexy. Nope, I'm not gonna find anything in there. So... Okay, this is all boarded up now. I don't think there's anything here. I think we're definitely in the wrong location. Should we actually... Let's give the phone a try. We haven't, we haven't tried out a phone recently. And no one to call. Okay, so it's not a phone. So what would the next bit be? So the cafe is where we're currently at. Um, Rue Giraffe, and that's where Nico lives. Uh, nothing at the police station. And there's the museum. Okay, let's check out the police and see if they've got anything for us. Should be curious. Excuse me, Sergeant. What do you want now? Um, I'd like to report an assault. Yes, monsieur? Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. Who knows? I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? At the Outside hotel. the Hotel Ubu. Ubu. They stopped me as I was leaving and went through my pockets. Could you describe the suspects, monsieur? One looked like a gorilla, 
and the other looked like a weasel. Their names are Flap and Guido. Oh, I'll get them this time. Okay. Do you know a man named Khan? Khan. He's a shifty looking guy with a scar on his right cheek. No, monsieur. He also calls himself Thomas Merlin. I'm sorry, Monsieur Stobart. I don't know him. No. Has this man any connection with the bombing of the cafe? Yes. I believe Khan was the name he used when he hired the clown costume. Ooh. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Yes, does that goes. worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kind of... I owe it to him I to this find goes. this killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't like let it trust. trouble you, monsieur. Go on and try to forget. Is it raining again? It is. It's raining. Raining here in sunny old London. I know the identity of the dead guy. Is that so? You knew him, did you? Yes. No, but... No. We'll know everything yes. there is no. to know about him soon enough. I'm trying to be helpful here. The best way you can help us is to go home, monsieur. Back to California? Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. Do you wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. Sure. One moment, monsieur. Okay, let's see where this goes. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. He's it's so bad, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. again. But what are we missing? Hi, Inspector. Well, remember me? The next bit before I go there. Do you know a pair of thugs? I have known those two since they graduated from yeah, look, special you, school. You are a wet pussy. Flap is a nasty piece of work. I have a wet but pussy Guido on my desk. is the real brains of the partnership. Where did you hear of them? You're I met them out front of the Hotel Ubu. How did I know you'd be, you'd be coming back in as soon as it started raining, eh? No mouse, no no bird for me, no, just... Have you heard of the Knights hat. Templar? Les Templiers? But of course, monsieur, yeah. their fame is widespread throughout France. We haven't forgotten them, unlike the rest of Europe. It was the King of France who persecuted them, though. Indeed. Kitty. That shook his cool. Kitty, kitty, Underneath kitty. his cultured facade, the man was real twitchy. You're obviously a great admirer of the Knights Templar. Oh, itchy face. They were men of great honor, itchy face is what you get for getting a beard. The flower of chivalry. Let's see where this goes. Not yeah. everyone would share you your views, You've Inspector. You've had food already. Not everyone shares my Come passion on. for Bartok. But if the Templars were as honorable as... That's enough. I do <laughs> not wish to hear cat, your uh, uninformed my, my opinions, Stobard. Why do you get so wound up about the Knights Templar? They've been dead for centuries. Absolutely. I shouldn't have pushed Damn. my luck. Down. Maybe his ancestors Down. were Templars. Whatever. I saw the anger flare in hey. his eyes like a distant summer thunderstorm. Nope. The Templars were the first were two in internationalists. 800 years on, and still the world is fragmented by nationalistic flag-waving fools. Oh, you no. will excuse me. Wow, okay. So long, Inspector. Nothing more to say to him, so I guess we're going to the next section and see where that ends up. Um, uh, it. no. Does this matchbook mean anything to you, Sergeant? That's a double line Swedish with a crosshatch Bergman strike strip. Now, that's unusual. Pre war Anderson hinging. Really? I haven't seen a reinforced Anderson outside of a private collection. It's rare then? In this part of the world, yes. There are only three places these are made Taiwan, Manila, and Slough. Slough? In England, Slough. Ah, huh? okay, cool. That's a thing. Would you like to shake my hand, Sergeant? No. Not while I'm on duty, monsieur. The gesture could be misconstrued. Misconstrued? Misconstrued? I found this Look red nose in the sewer. About people's what were you doing down there? Fishing for clues. That's where the clown went. You still insist you saw a clown, monsieur? Of course. And this novelty nose proves it. Indeed. It would take more than a plastic proboscis to convince Inspector Rosso. You don't want this as evidence, then? Certainly not, monsieur. No. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? I think I've already done this. No, monsieur. Cthulhu. It's the guy who bombed the I cafe. I fed you. The clown. This man looks yes, nothing like a clown. He's taken off his grease paint and costume. Then there is nothing really? to link this man with the killing. Nothing? Look at those murderous, murderous eyes. Murderous eyes, you know. Mm. Hardly likely to get him convicted. Right. 
Cthulhu, I can't play games while you're sitting there on my desk. Do you recognize this dirty tissue? No, monsieur, I do not. I found it in the sewer. Perhaps he it would be better fuss. if you put it back there. No way. This could be an important clue. If you well, say you so, you, monsieur. You're not anything more. Right. And last but what not least. What do you suppose this tool is used for, now? Sergeant Moo? It looks like something it's an obstetrician would use, monsieur. It was with tools like this that the clown made his escape. I don't understand. He opened up the hole and disappeared into the bowels of the earth. If you say so, monsieur. I do say so, uh, monsieur. Right, okay, so I've got nothing there. Cthulhu is in the way. See you later, Sergeant. Exactly what's on my screen. Okay, so then back to there. Well, then I have to trigger the next bit. I know what I need to do. I just don't know the next section. Cthulhu, come on. Down. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I do love that cat. That's crazy. Crazy little insane cat, but you know, he does his thing. But yeah, why the why it's raining outside he doesn't he can't be in be outside, so he's doing that. Right, okay, so we've done the police. Um do we need to go all the way back to Nico's apartment to then just Back in Nico's apartment. Okay, well, I don't have to go do the downstairs bit. Hi, I've been to the crew museum. E. Did you speak to Labino? No, he wasn't there. Bastard! How dare he not be home? Right. So we got the. Tripod. I found the tripod. Where? In the museum. It belonged to the Templars. It was dug up in Ireland at a place called Loch Mourne. I have heard of Loch Mallard. I'm looking forward I to getting to Ireland. I've read an article about the captain. Goat. Take a look for yourself. A popular gossip magazine. You read that rubbish? No, I write it. <laughs> Professor Nigel Pegram excavating the medieval castle at Loch Mourne. That's strange. What? He resigned his chair at Durham University in order to devote his time to the excavation. Ooh. Not only that, but he cancelled the filming of a fourth series of his popular television program. This site at Loch Marn must be awful important to him. He's a professor of history, Daryl Cuckoo. All the same, I'd like to talk to this Professor Pegram. How do you feel about a trip to Ireland? Disappointed. Huh? That I won't be going. I want to follow up the Belotta case. If you really think Pegram's gem is important, why don't you visit Loch Marn? On my own? I'm not so sure about that. Ooh, Where is on. Ireland exactly? Where is Ireland? Have you found out any more about Next the murders? Wales. Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? Ooh. I don't know. How could you not But know? I can't imagine it was coincidence. Okay, so... I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, so we found out that much. Is it later on in the day yet? Oh. Airport. Hey, there we go. Do you know what I think? I think we should call that a day where we're at. And we can go to Ireland in the next stream. So yeah, let's totally do that. I'm going to go to there. And I'm going to save the game. So let's save it, back to there, and confirm. And I, out of curiosity, we left the game at 18%. What are we at now? Oh, 35%. So should we be able to do this in four streams? I'm going to... No. Should be at 50% if I'm there. I could, I could push on, we could push on, but I, I want to keep it there. I want to keep it there. So, oh, jing. Oh, Cthulhu even. What are you playing at? Silly cat trying to kill me. Right, let's go back, let's go back, and let's go back over to here. So, yeah, I will exit the game. So we've saved it. Get rid of that. And yeah, uh, we're going to be back um, officially on Monday is the next time that I will be back in the... I'm going to actually quit the game. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in the stream on Monday. Um, depending, I might actually do something extra on Friday, Friday during the day. Uh, if we continue this, great. If we don't, we don't. So we shall find out we go. So we're going to end up raiding and see. Let's have a little look. Who's on? Let's go raid Charlie. If he's still on. Oh, he's not on my list. So 
So C trillions. Where's tri trillions at? Is he really not on? Should be. He said he was going to be on. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, no, no, he is on. I just don't know why it's not coming up. So let's try that again. Are you sending me another drink, Ninja? Um, so let's go raid channel. So C T R I. There we go. So yeah, so let's rock and roll. Let's drop off some stuff to him, and that'd be sort of a nice thing to do. So we're gonna jump over there. We're gonna say hi to uh, Charlie. So do check him out. As I said, he is on the Destiny. So he's playing through that at the moment, having some fun. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna have my last drink of the day because it's nice to do that. Um, and yeah, let's go back over to the chat. And yeah, oh, you go sleep now. Don't worry, I'm coming off now, Rosh Face, if you wanna have a little uh, goodnight message. So anyway, so I will be back on Wednesday. Thank you so much for the final drink. And yeah, guys, take care. I'll be back on Monday. If not before, if I do, it'd be a bonus stream. So yeah, I will catch you guys uh, then. So do hang about. Um, do check out Charlie's thing. Drop a follow if you can. He's going to be doing a charity stream on the 6th. So do check him out. And obviously, wish Ninja a happy birthday as well. So guys, I will catch you next time. And remember, be safe, be cool. But remember, you guys, you fucking rule. Catch you soon. Bye.